Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another Q&A Thursday. I'm your host, Dane Hennon. To my right, host, Levi Gates. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey, hey. And to the left here, Anthony Fisher, happy, fellow host. Happy to be. That was a really pronounced <laughs> yes. way to say my name. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Wow. Got to put, some, nice. put nice. some weight behind it. Put some punch. Did you go like that? He did. He did. Put some weight behind it. Shake weights behind it. Shake weights behind it. Shake weights behind it. Right on each side. Yeah. And on that note, uh, I guess we're all got the memo like a black and white thing going on mm, today. So that's nice. fun. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, housekeeping, stuff to talk about before well, we get to the program. A little bit of housekeeping. Mm. Got my teeth clean this morning. Ooh, ooh fresh. Ooh, ooh, so ooh. not only am I feeling fresh, but I'm looking fresh. Yeah. Got the teeth nice. cleaned. Polished got the up. new glasses. Yeah. I'm ready for TRCMA. You Came are. prepared. Crazy. So, very excited, very very uh, uh, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, still not sure if I need to, you know, do anything else. But yeah. I think I'm pretty good. Nice. Any, so, ca- any cavities? Yeah, a whole bunch of them. How oh. many? Uh, well, so for me, no additional cavities mm. okay. since six months ago. That's okay, good. so these are the ones you knew about. I already knew about them. I just never got okay. them fixed gotcha. because, gotcha. well, you know. Wanted to wait till we signed into the new insurance this year, which gotcha. is much better. Yeah, and so I uh, anyway got about six. Mm. Okay, and a crown that. that needs to get done. It's a pretty decent it's chunk. Pretty normal for me. Okay, like All some right. people are just, just more prone to them, even yeah. if their dietary it's habits. It's called are... having good Irish teeth. I, well, <laughs> yeah, that could be that something like that. I don't know, well, Irish but, uh, folks no, in the chat. My, you weigh in. What do you think? Got about my teeth that? clean. My dentist is super cool. He was like, hey, let's knock out those, at least four of them. Two of them are actually just resurfacing. Let's knock out those teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two are just resurfacing on some old fillings that he just needs to clean up. Gotcha. Um, but four of them are uh, that he wants to get knocked out. So I'll go in a couple weeks after TRCMA. All right. Get those knocked out, taken care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, before they become problems. And then the crown, that's just an excuse for another gold tooth. You just I mean, want that, that gold. Is. That it's is. pretty nice, right? Yeah, uh, if is. only everyone could have that option. Yeah, and did you tell him about mean. the tongue scraper? I did. What'd and both of them just kind of looked at me, and he goes, so what'd you think? <laughs> and I said, changed my life. And yeah. he goes, did you get a pretty aggressive one? And I said, no, I got like the gum version with the brush and the scraper on one it's side. It's like and the plastic brush. with a brush. And, and the he goes, side. they can get pretty crazy. You yeah, need to be metal careful. ones. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't you know, like said, razor don't get, Yeah, don't get the metal ones. You just get the plastic. But he was like, just be careful with it. He goes, but yeah, pretty great, right? Yeah. <laughs> I said, Amazing. Life yeah. changing. I Jeez. said, it's pretty awesome. So <clears throat> anyway, my teeth, I can like feel wind through them and Ooh. stuff. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Whistling. Yeah. Very good. That's a nice, nice, cool, brisk day. Uh, so anyway. outside of that, we actually have some real housekeeping. Oh, here. yeah. It's okay. actual oh, housekeeping. Yeah, yeah. Not know. just me and Anthony getting our teeth cleaned <laughs> for TRCMA. <laughs> some real housekeeping. Uh, speaking of TRCMA, we have TRCMA literally less yes. than seven working days away. Back so to TRCMA 2023 featuring, here we go. Mm-hmm. <sighs> The Rag Company, PNS Products, Color Lock, Yellow Tools, Rupes, Detailers Helper, Buff Right, RotaFest, Solution Finish, Optimum Polymer Technologies, Buff and Shine, Diamond Protect, Sterner Gloss, Lake Country, G Technic, LC Power Tools, G Technic Marine, IK Sprayers, The Rap Institute, Coach Chemi, Viper Chair, Detail Wise, Veloci, Auto Wash, Detailers, Business, business uh, Academy, and Flex. Yeah. Holy Ooh. smokes. Yeah. A impressive lineup. But not just that, Very right? Nice. We're also going to be having some special guests coming to TRCMA, ah. which makes it so much better. We have the Grand Bastard of the Year, right? We have the Mr. Grand Bastard of mm-hmm. 2022. You guys know him as Perfect Detail USA. He'll be here. Bradley's going to be here. We have Jamie the Cleaner coming. We have Alex Dewar coming. Grand Bastard of the Year 2021. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. And they're going to be coming here to host the pre-show and mm-hmm. possibly the post-show as well. And uh, they'll be on show. site. And a mid-show. So the way that's going to work, I'll just yeah. I'll button on this particular one. Pre and post-show, that's going to be like the cleaner cast. If you're familiar with Jamie's cleaner cast, it's going to yeah. be like that on the pre and post-show. Kind of like what on they did the last year. Cast. But they will be on location here. Mm-hmm. Then, to make things a little more interesting, the way we're doing this year's streams, the whole day is one stream. It's not going to be broken apart. So that means it's going to be rolling. That's Even why we're you keep your windows open lunch. all day. So while we're all having lunch, and those guys have been enjoying their morning or afternoon or whatever, they're going to be doing a mid-show on our channel, doing the thing. Now, so, that might be hijinks. Yeah. That might be pranks. It might be goofy. 
It might be fun. It might be serious. Don't know. But you're going to have to just wait and see what they do. It's going to be a riot. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I know. I can't wait. I mean, (laughs) guys, in in short, TRCMA is definitely our biggest event that we host of the year next to physically going to uh, SEMA in Las Vegas. And so it means the world to us if we can have everybody chime in, watch along, ask questions, uh, but just be present because a lot of crazy things are going to be happening, right? There's going to be new product releases that are going to be happening. There's going to be live demonstrations. There's going to be hopefully a lot of bad jokes and good jokes, depending Mm -hmm. on how you look at it, as well as uh, just information that you may not get anywhere else. And so you want to be first in the know. You want to be able to stay up on the industry. This is going to be the place to be. Uh, Dane is going to be sitting here comfortably in this office here, uh, basically emceeing the event with the help of a few other people. Me and Levi are going to be on the front lines helping Mm -hmm. other vendors Mm -hmm. and other partners that may need some help with their presentation. Or just field. want us just to be there, just to kind of for the party, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is a party, and so me and Levi are always available for that as well. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be our take on kind of new industry products, information, and uh, techniques that are being used. And I don't know, I couldn't be more excited. So, I confirmed hotel rooms the other day yeah. for <clears throat> thirty nine people. It's nice. nice. They're coming to TRC. What's well, crazy is those thirty nine people are going to be in the same hotel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're going to be going down to the pool and seeing each other and saying, "It's a party." Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go for do some I'm, laps. I'm going for a dip. I'm also <laughs> going for a dip, right? They might be walking into the gym. Hey, yeah. what are you doing? I'm going for a couple miles. I'm doing a yeah. run. You want to run with me? Absolutely, yeah. right? Maybe, Maybe they walk into the laundry facility. What are you doing? Just washing some clothes. Can I throw a load in with you? <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be kind of weird, but you know, if they hey. wanted to do that, right? Yeah. Or let's just say, right, somebody's sitting there doing some dumbbell presses and they say, mm-hmm. hey, do you need a spot, right? Yeah. Next thing you know, you got Jason Rose leaning over yeah, you, right? Helping. Oh, yeah, helping. Saying, hey, I got you, right? right. Come on. I'll there spot you, go. you, brother. Breathe, yeah. breathe, controlled yeah. presses. I'd probably take workout advice from Todd Helm over uh. Jason. Okay. Whoever, you just, know, just, what, I mean, whatever is going to... Jason has some good off-roading advice. He has advice. some great off-roading advice, great polishing advice. Yeah. But I'd probably take my, my weightlifting... Todd will help you out. A little more with Todd yeah. because yeah. he'll be there. Yeah. yeah. You well, know. Whatever. Jason will try. Yeah, whatever. He'll, he'll have a good yeah. argument. He's going to try. Whatever you're sure. into. But the thing is, is everybody's approachable. So if you are mm-hmm. here during that week, you should be able to go and uh, say hi to them. Uh, now, really quick, just because people have asked, they've said, hey... If I am in the area, if I happen to be in Boise yeah. during the week of TRCMA, uh, what can I do to say hi to maybe meet a couple of these people? Mm-hmm. Levi. Well, that's uh, all you got to do is actually message us. Just let us know. <laughs> me and the boys, like whether it's me, whether it's Dane, whether it's Anthony, message us and let us know beforehand because day of TRCMA – the three of us are pretty much locked down for the whole day. We're basically so, ignoring our phones. Because we have so <clears throat> much stuff to do. Yeah. So if you text us Tuesday five minutes before we go on yeah. and you're like, hey, I'm coming over. I'm here. We're not going to see that message until lunchtime when we get done for yeah. that first morning half. And so you may show up and find all the doors locked and you can't see or do anything and you just stand there. So please give us a heads up. If you were in the Boise area, you do want to stop by, you want to hang out. We have a number of spaces for people to mingle and hang out with and see, um, just not on set in the studio because it is a closed set um, just so that we don't interrupt everybody with people coming and going and wanting to watch the show. Um, You you can hang out on the property. You can hang out on the property. If you want to pull up in a truck, right, and let's just say – you're boiling glizzies out of the back right. of your truck, mm-hmm. right? I don't want to be boiling behavior. glizzies, but maybe barbecuing okay, glizzies. Okay, you're barbecuing okay. glizzies, right? And you pull up a truck and you go, hey, I'm down to make hot dogs for people. And we go, what the heck? This is amazing, right? <laughs> right. And we walk out and people are grabbing these wursts that are just amazing with crowd on them. Yeah, maybe Dirk Dew shows up with his verse, verse Oh, Who knows, right? Oh, right. Whatever something. you're boiling, what, maybe you're making some sloppy uh, maybe some, some slop slop dogs. dogs, right? Yeah. Uh, on the parking lot, right? You will be loved. You will be noticed. And, you know, we will try to yeah. get you in. To be We're going to have it set up. Out. We're going to have a tent out there. Yeah. We're going to have hopefully some areas in which people can mingle. We will beverages? have a, we will have a green room. Pepsi is providing a number of beverages oh here God. again yeah. for wow. us. Uh, <clears throat> but the goal is uh, if you want to come, this isn't a thing where you can like browse and wander around. This is a this is a virtual trade show. It's, it's kind of like event. like I said, it's kind of like getting tickets to the Super Bowl. But you got the nosebleed. You should just stay home and watch it on your phone. Well, and also on your they TV. don't want you walking on the field while the game's going. Right, exactly. So, exactly. So yeah. while it's game time, we're going to be working. But during the breaks. Halftime show. Halftime show. Mm-hmm. 
feel free. We'll let you walk in. You can check out, see what's going on, see what's happening. You can wander around. The thing is, we're going to have a ton of people on site that day, yeah. whether they're hanging out up in the green room, whether they're wandering around the warehouse, whether they're just hanging out, talking outside. Uh, there's going to be a lot of folks available Sure, because some people to. might say, hey, it's Jack from Star Glass going to be there. Can I yes. have him sign my child? Yeah, and you can bring your child down and Jack will sign it with a Jack, permanent marker. Yeah, Jack will sign it. Or a paint marker. Whatever, whatever. Anything that you, you know, maybe a special color. Yeah, or tattoo, Expo or tattoo, dry maybe, race. right? Make it permanent. Uh, no, 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 <clears> oh, wow. Maybe we're not doing that. Well, they, um, but anyway, so that. that's kind of the, <laughs> the answer to that. I've gotten that question a few times on Instagram, and I just want people to know that, hey, like, we're, we're pretty cool about that kind of stuff. We're not expecting, like, there would be a ton of people to show up. Um, but if you but do, like just be. Andy Steely last year. Yeah. He flew up, said, hey, I'm coming up. I'll be there on Wednesday. I'll probably get there about noon. Is that okay? Of course. Right. Yeah. Perfect. He showed up for Wednesday. I spent the whole day just hanging out in the green room, talking to folks, saw all of us, got to walk around, and then that night went to dinner with everybody. Yeah. Joined us for dinner. Had a yeah. great night hanging out with everybody, spent the night at the hotel, and then Bounce. flew out the next exactly. morning. Yeah. But he got his his fix. You got to meet people, yeah. Yeah. And that was what it was that's what it's all about. And so um, if you want to come out, you want to see what what uh, goes on. I know the um, we do have the Kimballs coming. Mm-hmm. They've, they reached out, said they want to come. Any of you folks locally that just want to stop by and say hi, feel free. Love I guess to have Joey you. Joey might. That would be great, Joey. <laughs> come on down. You yeah, know you're always welcome. Just so of course, true. Um, but so that I is know, our biggest. We, we do need a true Jack Reacher. We do there, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Joey may not be a bad idea. Book those tickets right now. We'll you, make you, him stand you, up you, next to Thomas. Have you yeah. ever been a bouncer? Yeah. Yeah. He could be a bouncer. <laughs> um, okay, so TRCM is coming up. Um, next week is going to be pretty crazy because it's basically the calm before the storm. So we're going to be trying to get everything situated. I think our live schedule is still going to be the same and consistent throughout the week. We might be fitting in a Wednesday live potentially uh, just to kind of ramp up and get people prepared for the following week. Uh, but outside of that, it's going to be a lot of studio cleanup. Mm-hmm, it's going to yeah. be a lot of office cleanup, getting things prepared um for guests yeah, and we got a lot of people coming between. so i don't know i'm pretty excited we did get some teasers out there uh, or we've got we've seen some teasers from the companies that are releasing a few different products and needless to say we're pretty excited yeah i mean it's gonna be pretty awesome yeah so that's it i mean uh oh yeah and then one more thing too make sure to sign up for the newsletter there may or may not be a sale that happens during right. that time yeah. right things might be <clears throat> a percentage off I don't know. There might right. be some neat things, some yeah. TRC yeah. special edition stuff. Um, some very special edition so, stuff ooh. that yeah. I think that you you don't want to miss because if you miss it, you miss it. Special really edition is one it. thing. You're... Limited edition is another. Mm-hmm. These are yeah. very limited. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be awesome. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump to some questions. Dave. Yeah. And actually, to, to your point you mentioned about us doing like a live next week, I did want to just quickly stress on that. We are going to be doing a Wednesday live next week, and it's going to be a sort of Q&A, but not like this Q&A. It's going to be specifically about TRCMA. So if there's anything you'd like to get detail-wise, we're actually going to have the crew who work behind the scenes. We're going to have some of the extra folks in there. They're going to be able to help kind of uh, talk about it. So okay. I think that would be nice. So make sure we throw that out there too. All right. First Let's get this up, party started. The great doer with his car on top of a gauntlet. <laughs> Happy Thursday, TRC. Clock is ticking. Cannot wait. Siri, Alexa, hey Google, set my alarm for TRCMA 2023. Alex knows. Thank you, Alex. <clears throat> and then uh, saying, Anthony's little out loud underbreath post announcement rant had me <laughs> roaring. <laughs> Uh, Dan Pfeiffer saying, uh, good afternoon and word up from sunny Minnesota, USA. Happy Friday Eve to the entire TRC crew. Excited for TRC 2023. Anthony, when are we going to jam? Ooh. What's that mean? I think he's also a musician of sorts. Yeah. Oh, you're we'll drumming. Like jam out with you. Throw it down. It's well, Dan, my entire drum set is currently up with Grant Hawtrey's family oh. in my, oh, playing with it. Uh, in my above garage space right now. Yeah. That's the loft. live music. In right? my <laughs> loft. Uh, and that's where, yeah, that's where the new live music place is going to start, yeah. right? Oh. Where it's going to be a little stairwell. You kind of climb up. Dane's going to be serving drinks mm-hmm. out of the Tiki bar. Uh, well, I would, but the fire department kicked us out for too many people in the space. We, we overdid the... Uh... Yeah, gotcha. kind of well, that up. maybe the chicken wings in the air fryer. We'll mm. figure something else yeah. out. But yeah, so I'm down to jam out. Um, also, on a side note, really quick, some people asked. They said, "Hey, Anthony, are you okay? Are you all are right? you okay? Right. Um, I am okay. I got hit with oh. a weird 24 stom- hour stomach bug. It's just mm. a part of being a dad. It just things 
left my body mm-hmm. it's gonna at happen a very more. rapid yeah. rate, and then I was fine. And yeah. I said, cool, I'm back. It's kind of like an exorcism. It kind of <clears throat> is, right? Be gone, I mean, demon. It's like that. But it's for the family. It's an exorcism for the family. Oh, it because, should be. Because it, I don't, it, I didn't want you it get to it, be. and then yeah. your wife get it, gets it, and hopefully your children don't get it. Yeah, but yeah. You certainly So, um, anyways, I'm feeling much better. And, <laughs> and you um, look skinnier. I... It just might be water weight, honestly. <laughs> oh. I'm very dehydrated. That's why I have a Gatorade. Um, all right, so moving on here, we have uh, Happy Friday Eve early birds from Joe. Nice and then we Joe. have uh, Mr. Dino says, hello, hey. hello, towel gods. How are you guys? Public service announcement. announcement. Hit that like button. Thank yes, you. Thank do, you very please. much. Yo, Hurl. Says, hello, I wrecked my knee, and I haven't been able to wash my car for four months now. Oh. What do you recommend for the withdrawals? I do not have Hot Wheels. Well, yo, her. I was going to say, get yourself a big bowl of warm water, put a little uh, car wash soap in there, just a little bit, and then start washing some of them Hot Wheels. Go yeah. buy yourself some Hot Wheels. He says he does not have Hot Wheels. I know, but yeah. he could. For $10, he could get 10 Hot Wheels, and he yeah. could be washing mm. them up, cleaning them up, Well, just, Levi, to, get the, just to get the scent so in the air. You I know have, what I mean? I have, I have one better for you. Oh, or okay. thanks to our friends over at Jada Toys. Hey. Right? Or Jada Toys. You can pick up a yeah. 20, 124th scale, 1 16th scale right. Right, of your favorite Fast and Furious or other vehicles out there. Favorite movie vehicle. And uh, you can detail one of those to perfection. Levi knows that here around yeah. the office. This, right when I'm getting a little antsy, I just go ahead and take my Fast and Furious collection and give them a wipe down, right? Yeah. A little bit of quick maybe, detailing. Maybe mix up a little Absolute, a little O&R. Ooh, a little bit give of beat Give them a little maker. quick uh, rinseless wash on yeah, there. I do. And the thing is, is those things are gleaming. They mm-hmm. look so good and it smells and, and good. And you get the smell. You get the aromatherapy yeah. mm. of it. Yep, I know. I felt like the Magic Wheel Cleaner was a little bit too much for the plastic wheels. Yeah, it was, um, actually. And it didn't but, smell like what we wanted it to smell like. But the like. thing was, is I mean, too, they're, they're, they're rust-free. They are <laughs> iron right, deposit-free. <laughs> I mean, they are very nice. Yeah. Uh, it's easy to be rest free yeah. when there's nothing left. Yeah. Dino uh, <laughs> says. I was going to say, the other thing you could do, Yo Hurl, just take your car through the car wash. Hey. Create a new job for you. It creates yeah. a more when, it creates a problem. When your leg gets better, because it'll be like resetting the vehicle yeah. and you can start all over. And oh, when boy. your leg is ready to go, you can go, like nice, I can now start polishing and doing oh, all the stuff man. I wanted to do. Get those four months in. I'm sorry, uh, Dino. That's not fun. No, it's not Yo Hurl. Dino's Yo Hurl. Oh, Yo Hurl. Yeah. Sorry. I saw Dino, Dino up Dino on the Dino says, I Get needed my <laughs> wife's name right. right? Yo Hurl? No. It's, it's, uh, from, it's Yo it's Hurl. From, uh, I know. The other guy. I know. All right. Dino say it. I needed advice on washing Christina. a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Brand new BMW G310 GS with 50 kilometers on the clock. Driven through mud a bit and wet roads. It's really dirty. What to use? I'm afraid of using something alkaline because of the oh. anodized aluminum. <clears throat> um, it's a motorcycle he's it, asking about. It is a motorcycle. Yeah, a motorcycle specialist here. Is there an enthusiast of sorts? I feel like it, there's a guy Dane, in the room. You're, yes. the de- you're the lead yes. motorcycle detailer here. Yeah, not only am I good at detailing, and I'm you're especially good, good with You also know about metals as yes. pop chrome. Yes. Various so alloys. What various... could Dino do? Uh, you know, if you're working on, let's see, he's got a G310 at GS. Okay. It's just a GS310. So it's just a GS310. Okay. Well, you know, it's a Beamer, so it's probably going to have some harder uh, clear on it, I would suspect. Um, yeah, so BMW Motorrad. Fun thing about that. Yeah, BMW Motorrad is actually all right, all right, a separate all right, division all right, all right, all right, from right, BMW Sorry. Anthony, tell him what's also up. Also, BMW Motorsport is a separate division. They are entirely different companies within... Yeah, we, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's where my expertise lies. So he's worried about using alkaline because yeah. of the anodized aluminum. That's the question. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to use alkaline. Honestly, if it's just got mud on it and things like that, if it's brand new, I would just pressure wash it off. That bike can handle a pressure washer all day long. It's totally fine. Everything is sealed off inside there. So I just Also, pressure... you could dilute it. You could dilute it, but like you, you, Green Star. You, you could just, use Green Star and dilute but it. But you, you almost wouldn't even need it. Not that I think it would even affect the aluminum, honestly. Um, I don't even think it would affect the plastics on it. I would just say just pressure wash it off. I mean, that's that's about as easy as it gets. If it's if it, truly is, if it truly is brand new, it. right? With basically well, it's got 50,000, 50 kilometers. No, it's not 50, 50. kilometers. Yeah, it's, it's barely. It's brand new mud or <laughs> well, it's old you, mud that should still rinse off pretty easily. That, that could be 50K miles or it could be 50 kilometers, but depending you on how you could, want to I mean, that. if you wanted to foam it, you could foam it. You don't even need to foam it. I mean, I would pressure wash it. You can pull it in and do a rinseless on it. That would probably be the easiest and fastest way to do it. But pressure wash um, it first, then pull it in, do a rinseless. But yeah, I mean, basically your biggest thing 
thing is you want to get all the mud, everything off the tires. If there's anything on the tires, any dirt on the tires, get that all off there because what will happen is if you skimp out on those and you go to start wheeling it around, you'll find that that stuff will flick back up onto the mud guard, on the, on the front, on the rear. It might kick back up onto the radiator. Um, uh, so just whatever it is, you just want to get that off there. And uh, then work from top to bottom. I mean, start with all the delicate areas of the bike first, right? Everything from uh, the nav screen, or I, I should say the, the gauge cluster on up top there, and clean that first, then start working away for, down from the paint, and then save your dirty areas, dirtiest areas for last. And that should be it. Uh, on that bike, yeah, I mean, everything else should still be pretty much 100%. Don't dress it. Don't put anything like that on it. Maybe spray a little paint gloss or a quick detailer on the plastics and then call it good. That's what I would do. It's a new bike. Done and done. Nice. Um, Miller says, hey, what's up, everyone? At the TRC crew, just placed an order for some sweet shirts mm. for cars and coffee and extras. Nice. Bought another banner and added in a note to see if you guys could all sign it. We Thank would you, Miller. love we are. to. Yeah, yeah, we will. I'm sure they will let us know. Right? Yeah, they After give us a heads up when somebody does that. So, yeah. Mark's mobile detailer, Mark the car washer, saying... Let's also add motorcycle washing to the chat today. It would be appreciated. We so just we just did. did. We so one of the big things, though, like Anthony said, no dressing on the tires. It's like the number one thing do not do on a motorcycle. Well, there's, Unless you want to have some fun. Honestly, it's, it's going to be a very like, exciting There is ride. such a little sidewall on a tire to dress. I mean, in the first place, that, that shouldn't, even, it shouldn't even be a thing. Yeah. Um, and but very, I remember back in the day. So many detailers dressed in the sidewalls on motorcycles. I know. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is... <laughs> you do that very, first corner, yeah, you just one of those things. Oh, like, God. <laughs> generally, if a, if, a, if a tire is never dressed, right, especially on the sidewalls on, on a motorcycle, for <clears> example... You shouldn't have any issues You with shouldn't or have any browning or anything like that that will come with time. Right. That side of that tire, that, that inch and a half of sidewall should always be black and honestly and soap not, and water and a towel with some yeah, you know, like a microphone just, you can clean that stuff take up a little apc good. i mean well i mean i've never in i don't know how many different tires i've gone through in how many years 13 12 years 12 years of riding i've never had to scrub a tire yeah i mean Simple. that's just not it's just not not really a thing but i understand that some people have the show bikes or the or the big cruisers or whatever it is they go hey i want this thing looking like crazy good <coughs> right yeah you just gotta tell them hey it's just not worth it man and if you decide to do it that's on you mm -hmm. but i'm not you don't you don't want to be liable or you just ride in a place where the conditions are worse i mean there are places yeah. where you're going to have more potential things winding mm -hmm. up on there yeah no, motorcycle detailing doesn't have to be that complicated. The biggest thing that makes the difference is going to be whether or not it's chain driven, mm. um, shaft driven, belt driven, um, because again, it, depending on what's exposed, if you use a very strong cleaner or something that's very um, alkaline and you get that onto something that shouldn't be on rubber, maybe it get, gets on the drive belt, right? Not that I don't think that I think it'll damage the drive belt, but I mean, it could do something, right? And you don't want that on the belt. If it's on the chain, you could degrease the chain, not knowing that you've degreased the chain and Ooh. maybe you've not re-greased it. And then that becomes a problem because now you have a chain that could maybe Horrible potentially, noises. it's got, doesn't have any type of water repelling behavior. You can start to having rust issues um, or something like that. And then, I don't know. And then if yeah. it's shaft driven, then everything is usually pretty sealed well off. <clears throat> but you don't want to be pressure washing into a maybe a seal where the shaft is and getting water moisture down mm. where the actual linkage is. Yeah, there that's you go. about it. Shelby, happy Friday Eve. Hey, hey, hey. Shelby. Ron saying hey, hello, 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 <laughs> and then Darren saying evening, you beautiful lot. Hope all is all. You are. You hope you're all well. Looking forward to tuning into you three tonight. I'm now fully recovered and back to full hey, health. Hey, full nice, bars. Darren. Very nice, Darren. Glad. All right, on to page two. And that simply says, Ron, awesome news. Ah, oh, thank you. Then Dino, also some tips on lubing the chain and protecting a bike. Customer brought a bunch of MotorX motorcycle care. No relation to the whole GTI um, people. Yeah, Motor no, X, Motor, right? MotorX or um, MotorX makes, I, mean, I think that's <clears throat> MotorX. Are you sure it's called MotorX? It might be called MotorX. In Europe. In Europe. Hmm. Yeah. No, I know what MotorX is. Yeah. Um, yeah, all that stuff is fine. They can you can use that if you wanted to use that, especially if it came with like a chain lubricant. You could do that. Hmm. Yeah, I just think of R thirty four. Do you have any TR tips for lubing? I know you're a big lubing. fan of lubing chains. 
When I lube chains, I usually do it on a bike stand. I have a rear, you know, rear tire stand. I, I doubt that Dino has that. Biggest thing is to um, make sure the chain is completely dry after you've done all of your washing. If you do a degreaser on it, make sure it's all clean. Uh, grab a crappy microfiber towel and then just clean everything off, right? Push the bike about a foot forward, clean the chain off again, push another foot forward, clean the chain off again, push another foot forward, clean it off again. Make sure you're cleaning the full entire chain. Um, and from there, same thing goes with the with the spraying the lubricant on there. If it's a spray lube, then I usually grab a piece of cardboard and I slide it back behind the backside of the chain so the lube doesn't get onto the tire itself. Oh, oh, and I use that as like my backboard. I spray my lubricant on there, wait 30 seconds or so because it'll usually start hardening up right off the bat. And then I push it forward a foot, two feet, spray it again, wait, push it forward two feet, spray it again, and wait until the chain is completely lubricated. Okay. And then you just got to let people know that because you've lubricated their chain that you may have some fling that comes with all chain lubricant. It just happens. Sometimes they fling. And that just to make sure to look underneath your cowling or whatever it would be for some extra lubricant that you have to clean off. That's it. Okay. There you go. Graham saying, okay. evening, lads. What's going on? On an hour earlier, everything's gone mad. Well, Graham... Yes, because same we are us. now, it's the same for us, but we are now DST. in daylight savings time. So we are in uh, in a different time zone now. So we are one hour l- closer to you, basically. We're six hours apart from the UK, not seven, uh, until you guys do your time change, and then we'll be back to seven hours apart. So, nice and confusing. Um, super fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, super, super awesome. But yeah. So we had the time change, uh, not this weekend, but the last weekend. Yeah. So uh, we've been dealing with it for the last couple of weeks now. So for some reason, they chose Sunday at 2 a.m. Isn't that when they? Yep, that's yeah. when they do it. So love it. Uh, <clears throat> Martin Richard saying, "Hey guys, hey, uh, hey. how you doing, man?" And then David saying, "Hey all, uh, starting my question off with something I've asked before but forgotten. What are the dilutions for Shine All? Yeah. So Shine All." Pretty much you can do whatever you want with it, David. If you realistically, it's whatever works best for you. I find that uh ten, is for the most part is ready to use. It is yeah. ready to use. Dynamic but, dressing is gonna be the one you would dilute. Yeah, more. but but unless uh, it's RTU. But I've been case. diluting Shine All at home because that's all I've had. Yeah. Um, and I'm finding that ten to one, pretty rad for dilution interiors. for interiors. Yeah. Um, works decent uh, for what you need it for, um, especially in a pinch. For exterior, I really don't like going anything less than five to one for exterior dressing because go, it I don't really go less than full strength it, on that stuff. Yeah, but I mean, like it falls off. Yeah, hmm. like interior, it's perfect. Ten to one, yeah. awesome. Uh, exterior, it almost you might as well just be sp- spraying water on <laughs> yeah. the exterior. It doesn't really dress and protect the way you want it to. Yeah, so, so go stronger. Yeah, five to one exterior, ten to one interior. Okay. Um, but just water. Yeah. Uh, my guy, uh, Kirby, saying, afternoon, TRC. Glad to see Anthony's doing better today. Thank you. I think we're all happy to see I uh, had to flush a few demons out, literally. Uh, <laughs> Joey Belinsky says, good afternoon, you fine people. And then we've hey. got uh, Martin that says, love your TRC gray hat. Mm, oh, yours. thank you. This one's one of my favorites. I've had this for years and years and years. That's one of the oldest designs. My wife loves it. It is really the first. Yeah, red that, that was hat. Gabe's contribution on that front. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just it's a comfortable hat. It's just nice. Um, we still sell them today, yep. so you can head to theradcompany.com, pick yourself up a hat, uh, and then we got Helio says hello TRC, and up, uh, the bearded hunter is in the house. Hey, another Jack Reacher. Yep. Style fellow, <laughs> uh, saying howdy boys. I hope your Thursday is going well. Can't wait for TRCMA. Same. I know Hunter's excited. So it's gonna whoop, be awesome. So I'm currently on the next, the latest and greatest of the Jack Reacher series. I think mm. I'm on like book fifteen. Okay. Currently, Jack Reacher yeah. is hitchhiking. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, he does that a lot. He's a drifter. Right? He's a drifter. Yeah. yeah. So he's hitchhiking. Some dudes pull up, pick him up. Yeah. Two dudes and a chick in a car. They're all wearing good. matching shirts. Oh, right. They, they are said, going. They to... said it's going to be a bad. Do club. you need a ride? And he goes, Yeah, I'm going to Nebraska. And they're like, Okay, we'll give you a ride to Omaha. So That's they're they lives. say they're businessmen. Yeah, like a team mm-hmm. out on a sales meeting. Mm-hmm. Turns out, two dudes are bad guys. Mm-hmm. They actually tried. To, they actually killed somebody. Mm-hmm. They were escaping. 
they stole that lady's car and took her as a captive. Wow. But yeah. she's playing along but with Jack, it. no, she's not. She oh, because you said they were all dressed the same. They made her dress oh, in one of those shirts. Okay. And they told her to keep her mouth shut. And so Reacher is doing his deductions like mm-hmm. a modern-day Sherlock Holmes okay. as he's been riding in the car with them. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. Wow. Pretty impressive. I wonder what he's probably going to do. Probably beat them up. Well, he's going to pick well, up the car he's gotta and figure that. Got to figure heads. that out. We, won't, we don't know. <laughs> Yeah. We don't know yet. You know what We're Jack find Reacher out. and Dom Toretto have in common? Family. <laughs> family. Oh, wait, no. no Dom, family, Reacher has no family. Yeah, I was going to say, that's super, not true super, at all. Super strength. <laughs> super strength while and everything in between. cruising down the highway. Yeah, things um, got a little weird now, the last on a, few iterations. On another, another quick side note here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we have a little bit of time to make some side sure. notes here. Yeah. Uh, I started watching that Andor series finally. Yes. I, I started like committing to it. Good. I You're like, I have to do this. And so it's so funny, man. I made it through four episodes, right? And I go, it took four episodes to say that, hey, this guy accidentally kind of killed somebody and he needs to escape, right? Because he's a foreigner and probably shouldn't be in this spot anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, then now he has to go help these people maybe commit some type of like, you know, theft of some sort. Mm -hmm. Took four episodes to get to that point. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Or you can read into the not so subtle subtext of the whole, you know. Dane calls it world building. It is world building. It is world building. It's I moody. Agree with it's Dane vibey. One hundred percent. There's the whole. Watching there's the whole corporate I have, imperialism I have his angle. Back there's on the, this one. No, I love just, that show. Out of all four the episodes of watching somebody just walk around. <laughs> this is going to upset some people, but Andor is my favorite Star Wars property outside of the original trilogy and Rogue One. Agreed. Dane, you're saying that next that to Star the Wars episode one. Was I like the, the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian seasons one and two. I'm pretty cool with one being the stronger season to me, but I'm good with that. Everything else has been. Eh. Dane, you are the biggest fan of Jar Jar Binks that I know. <laughs> That's not true. He does have <laughs> multiple cutouts in his He's house. He's got Jar Jar is, Binks memorabilia yeah, all over yeah. his thing. And whenever he goes, he always says, "I'm a Star Wars enthusiast," uh, and it's all Jar Jar Binks stuff. Oh, this which hurts. well, it's hard for me, but I do agree with you, Dane, <laughs> on Andor. Andor is a. Fantastic I think it's a fantastic B two emo, probably yeah. the greatest droid of mm. all time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love, so love that anyway, just I'm just, I'm just, I'm starting to get helpful. in. I have this thought. Let it's a slow know. burn, though. It is a slow I'm burn. Trying but it's to. worth it. Is it not it's worth, worth it? it? It's, it's worth, worth it. it. All right, all right. Okay. It's like a cult <laughs> trying to tell me to do something. Uh, uh, yeah, this yeah. is the but way. We're I mean, the guys right, in the shirts, and you're Reacher getting in the car going, I don't know, something seems fishy here. This is the way. <laughs> Moving on, here we got Larry Singleton says, Sup TRC. Hey, hey. Home slices. And then Joey Belinsky says, You just show up outside. Uh, Alex says this sounds like the teeth Ooh. of someone who's six percent Mexican and three thirty three percent Irish. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like. So you're That's just exactly have me. To... <laughs> that is me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm that one. I'm that oh, genetic makeup. Man. Then we got Grant Hotcher here. Day 108. Anthony's take and bake personal pizza, goose jerky, spy balloon rides, and home hand polishing cleaning service. Tip number 008. To remove the smell of a decaying family in your loft, use, waiting for it, Coach Me KC Refresher 1 to 1 to help kill that smell. It does work pretty well, right? <laughs> it hasn't driven off the hounds or it kept dogs from barking at my house whenever right. they walk oh, by. No. It's because I have one of those gable vents, right? Right. The they gable smell vent. It. They catch smell the it whiff. Through that. They catch the whiff, and I'm trying to like saying, "Hey, no, no, I shouldn't be just yeah. smoking meat." Well, you there. had those, you have those, you had those folks in your yard working, yeah, and they kept thinking that they were that like you were going to be the, feeding they them. Thought later. the dogs were barking at them. Right. They were. They were very confused. You said yeah. a couple times you had to go out there, talk to them, make sure they were laying the pad properly. Yeah, but also making sure I, you know they weren't I getting this any was a ideas. Christmas story hounds getting loose kind of no, situation, and they're all kind of. But just to give people some context here, at my cat house right now, there is currently some work getting done, Mm. right? I'm having... The Miata shed's getting built. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. So it's actually kind of funny. So I have have landscapers coming to my house to prep a pad for my new shed, right? right? My new 10 by 12 shed, still uh, pending HOA approval, right? But right. If, once that happens, yeah, right? Yeah, but they, the HOA man, can't stop you putting concrete in. They can't stop me from doing anything. So I got my pad being prepped for that, right? They're going to start doing rock, trip lines, things like that. Concrete guys came out uh, yesterday or two days ago and yesterday to prep and pour the concrete for my patio extension, about 12 by 13. 20 right there 13 by 20 extension Mm -hmm. on that thing right pretty awesome plenty of concrete out there to party and uh in that time right i realized it is very stressful having as many vehicles as i have right now because 
I not only had four or five worker trucks right in front of my house, <laughs> I had a concrete truck, right? Mm. I had two dump trucks. And I'm yeah. thinking, this is kind of excessive for how wh- what's right. getting done here, right? <laughs> um, so I had luckily, luckily I had my land to park right. a few of my vehicles on, right. parked another nice. one of my it's vehicles good, good on. Good thing you have that. It's part yeah. of the – and. Yeah. The it, annex. It, mm-hmm. The only downside is I was feeling so horrible that I could barely make it out to my vehicles and move them. And they just kept looking at me like, why is he moving his vehicles all the time? And I yeah. go, to prevent the potential that there could be damage. Well, yeah. Right? You don't know. That was a dump truck. You They're throwing, they're shoveling. Could be pushing, one rock. Or maybe they're right? pushing a wheelbarrow. They get a little squirrely with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hit one of the vehicles. Doesn't take much. Could happen. Well, it's funny, you know, because I left the Miata right where it was, right? Yeah. Nothing happened to it. Of course. Because that's how that works, right? It's not your car. The second I start loving that car, a tree will fall on it. (laughs) <laughs> that roll bar, that hard dog roll bar is going to save. But I will though. say though, the Miata, the Miata shed will be amazing, yes. right? My wife still doesn't know that I'm fitting a Miata inside mm-hmm. there, but that's the plan. Right. Well, Christmas mm-hmm. decorations and a Miata. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, you know, what I was thinking about. I'll have that Miata f- at least past yeah. obviously TRCMA. Mm-hmm. Should I pick up anybody in the airport in that thing? Ooh. You can. I have a list Ooh. of people that need All right. rides Should the I? Who am well, I pulling up with a, in this Miata? Like, Alex I can Duar carry one on person. Saturday. Like, I'm thinking of, like, I want to pick somebody up in it, but I want it to be a special moment because I want it to still be unclean. I don't, up, I don't want it to be pure yet. Brad. No detail yet. Pick up Grand Ambassador of the Year of 2020. Brad? Brad yeah. shows up. He's like, You're like who's Marlboro Smooths are these? Yeah. You're like, hop in. We They're yours a, now. He's like, where's my bag go? And you're like, Levi's here too. Don't worry. Who's putting it? You can put it in the Suburban. Yeah. We're going to the same spot. No, I got a tr- I got trunk space yeah. in the Yeah, it's got a right? bit of a trunk to it. It's think all right. It's got that big you know, of a Jack. It would be hilarious. Oh, you pick up Jack. Big boys yeah. You Miata. could pick up Jack from yeah. the airport with I that. I feel like he would love that. The one time I had Dylan Von Kleist in my Miata, his head went above the windshield bar. So everybody just kind of looked and went, that won't be safe if you roll over. Anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll figure out. You well, guys, we do, we you do guys lots vote of stuff. who I could pick up in, in a Mazda Miata. <clears throat> Jack would love it. He would have a blast Y'all need to you. vote. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, Long Island so Detail Supply. Says, I can't wait to see what comes out. And then Levi, what is uh, Grant saying Grant here? Grant says, like, share, and subscribe to all TRCMA Media. Yes. Helio, after using Beadmaker, would you guys recommend an SIO2 spray for a topper or Dream Maker? You you don't really need beadmaker is the topper of, beadma- of top of beadmaker <laughs> helio just beadmaker so you know. just but if is you want the to have a dream maker you, you could. could Dino did you guys see a picture I tagged you in on Insta I have uh, not yet I haven't um, yet no no Glenn saying good afternoon so. gentlemen <clears throat> Glenn how's hey, it hey. going and uh, let's go to page two Alex says the last time Anthony talked that fast was when he was on the phone with his wife. Panic calling about when he locked himself in the bathroom. <laughs> That's a oldie but a goodie. That's an oldie <laughs> and then Alex but says, I got my Canadian beaver swimsuit to do some Ooh. sweet cannonballs in the pool at home to sweets. Nice. It's only five feet deep. <laughs> I hope no one dies. <laughs> like people are just hurting themselves. Right? <laughs> you no, know, they replace all the water with syrup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it, it is only five feet deep. Uh, I did ask my wife, I was like, hey, can I stay at the home to sweets during the week to Tiracima just to feel yeah. like I'm more of like with the crew? Yeah, she, and you she have said, a child. And she said, no, that's expensive. And I said, <laughs> but what if by work? She's like, your work's not going to pay for it. I said, you're right. So I will just be staying out with people, right? And having a good time, hopefully, right? Yeah. Many of the <laughs> cool. nights. And then, Going mm-hmm. home. Levi, what about yourself? That's my game plan, too. Yeah. Mm. As yeah. much fun as it would be for you and me to get our own room. Yeah. At the, at it would the be a party suites. room next It'd to the Trader great. Joe's. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we could be like, guys, we got we got snacks. We got drinks. We just take over a floor. It's all covered. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Like, Ten bottles of two-buck chuck. <laughs> Come over for a glass of wine. It's going to get wild. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go destroy downtown Boise. Right? Uh, but, yeah, so we're... <laughs> Well, I'll be going home. It's going to be great. Oh, uh, man. Joey says, I can be the TRC a bouncer. Why didn't I consider that? That's right, there Joey. You, you could potentially be employed here as a bouncer yeah. for the week. Yeah. Uh, Long Island Detail Supply. Which brand are you guys the most excited about and who's dropping something new? Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> can't we don't know can't, everything can't yet. Say it Even I'm we don't know everything I'm not going to give you yet. anything <clears throat> other than the fact that there is some stuff on the site right now. Oh. Don't say stop what, what you're doing. What I'm just saying. No, you can't say what? anything else. You've if you go to the ragcompany.com. Nope, uh, sign right. up Martin, for the newsletter. Uh, Richard <laughs> says make sure you sign up for 2. the details. Put in there, it'll tell you when says, stuff happens. Misting 
Uh, misting my living with shamrock shine. Mm. Uh, ooh, eating Jolly Rancher ooh. gummies and folding some new TRC towels. Uh, mi- probably misting his app- living room with shamrock shine. Get oh, that scent. Spreading some that's, luck, yeah. right? That's I sprayed my way. bike down yesterday when I washed it. Yeah. A little minty fresh scent. Mm. It was nice. Shamrock mm. shine yeah. in there. Uh, and I, that's what I thought of when they were polishing my teeth. Nice. Well, I know a lot of people got their Mint. mystery bags. Um, yeah. We're getting their mystery bags this week. I saw one person post on the Rag Company Facebook group, the, uh, the discussion group. And I think I, I think I interpreted I, the, I I read it maybe kind of weird, but I think he bought three of the same mystery bag. The phrasing oh. was a little and, weird on that and one, so I couldn't like, figure out if he's he, like, meant he he's had like, multiples. He's like, so I got some duplicates. Yeah. So just to make things clear for people, if there was five options for a mystery bag, one, two, three, four, and five, if you bought three of number one. You're getting three of the same mystery bag, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So I tried to kind of explain that that if you wanted variety in the mystery bags, you needed to buy like a one and a two and a four, or a one and a two, five, three, four, one. You need to mix it up like that. Yeah. You, you don't don't buy multiples of the same one, otherwise you are. And getting, you explained that like a week I ago. I, plus, I, I don't know if it worked. I don't really know well. if everybody necessarily got. So that. Um, yeah. So if you did order. Three bags of number two, you're getting three of what mystery bag number yep. two was. Just saying. Yeah. So I do want, uh, if Nick could uh, pull up oh. the website, the rag company. No, we're not. What we're are not you doing, doing that? Just listen to me. No, Nick, what? do not Why go to that Please website. pull that up, Nick, because no. this is, pertains to Kirby's question. Oh, boy. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> so oh, uh, a, are you going to oh, have a okay. set time oh, for okay. each <laughs> guest? Tur- times during each day of TRC might be helpful to catch as cannot view all the time. Right. So if we pull up the website mm. and we just scroll down a little bit, look, there's oh, the calendar. There we go. Yes. You can literally, and there's a, a slider, it tells you. So that is, those are all the brands that are going to be here for each day. TRC day one, day two, day three, and day four. Now, if you're signed up for the newsletter... You will also get this link, and it will go to you to just not every day, but to give you the listing. And this new, uh, this is part of our new events page. Yeah. This little calendar slider here. This is going to be able to for out throughout the year. Yeah. It's also going to tell you where we're going to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to meet with us, if you want to see us, what events, what classes we're hosting. Maybe you want to sign up for a class. Maybe you want to sign up for one of the events that we're doing here at the Rag Company. You'll be able to do it with this new s- slider that we have. But just so you guys know, there's a lot of that on the website that you mm-hmm. can check out. And so. what was crazy is that we got Maddie to approve uh, the slider for Dane's birthday. Yep, that too. Right? Uh, yep. His, we put his, that his in. big 34. Yep, I've got that right? in there. It's going to be known as the new Arbor Day 34. Arbor Day 34. Right? Yeah. It's actually going to be his old parents' old house in the which backyard. Is, which we still got to talk to the, the new, new owners, owners about that. Probably yeah. be we do have to confused. talk about that. Uh, Dane did request that there be a... Um, he wants to try and break the record of people in the hot tub. Yeah. Oh, no. There was that thing, and then it was also the Jar Jar Binks impersonator, right. oh, as well no. as a no. few other questionable things. It's going to be quite things. the spectacular well, blowout. I'm pretty sure the, they canceled that for being like no. problematic well, and there's, or al- there's also going to be the, the loose meat. Um, well, like food it, like station. It's a food oh, station that is loose meat, yeah. which is going to be great as well. We've got, so, oh, we've no. got Sloppy Joes. We've got Sloppy Turkey Joes. Yeah. We've got uh, Sloppy... Um, uh, brisket, we got mm. sloppy pulled pork, yeah. um, all types just of loose taco loose meat, meat. <laughs> and taco meat. That's plain tacos, <laughs> but there's no shells, no shells. Oh. Just put it in a bun hands. or or a tortilla. Yeah, but Dane, this sounds terrible. It's gonna Dane, be a great time. You're gonna be the 30, worst birthday. You're gonna be 34 this year. Yeah, though. you only turned 34 crap. once. Yeah. yeah. Just like I only turned 33 once. 33 seems still like, okay, we're still... still 34, I'm just suddenly an old man. Yeah, Dane, I'm going to start judging you as (laughs) I stay Yeah, you're right behind me, buddy, so... (laughs) (laughs) I got a year on you, but it ain't that much. Uh, My guy Kirby says... We already did that. Oh, yeah, we already did Kirby there. There we go. And then... Now I'm going to go back a page. We are missing... We are on page two now. Okay. All right, Grant saying Todd is Jason Rose's bag carrier and personal bodyguard, mm-hmm. as meeting Jason Rose is a religious experience. It is. Oh my. You usually have to something. sanitize your hands, right? You do. Mm-hmm. Just because he wants you to be pure. He right? wants, yeah, well, he wants to make the experience about you as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Glenn says, got the notification that UPS delivered my two mystery bag package today. Looking forward to getting it, to getting off mm-hmm. work, I bet, man. Yeah. RSX Freak saying, sup, fellas. I can't wait for TRCMA. Looking forward to all the new 
products. Good demos. Dude, good we're products. excited too. It's going to be good. Uh, Grand F, what's Levi's go to method for mountain bike cleaning? Oh, sorry, I didn't see Joey's. Yeah, I got Joey. I clean here. and protect my shoes on the days I can't wash the car. That's a right. good one, Joey. Yeah. That's a great one to do. Yeah. Uh, Grand F saying, what's Levi's go to method for mountain bike cleaning? So um, I had my bike in here because I drove the red truck and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to drive the red truck back home. Uh, but it fired right up and ran great the whole way. Um, so I threw my bike back in, but I thought, well, it's here. I might as well just wash it off real quick. Um, so I just used Green Star mm. diluted, sprayed everything down with it. The yeah. bike is coated in OptiCoat Pro Plus. Oh, wow. Um, and so the all the frame, the suspension, sank, nice. uh, lower sanctions, the yeah. stem, the, the handlebars, everything's coated. Yeah. The cranks. Um, That's your salsa? Yeah. That's uh, a nice mm. bike. So I, I coated everything, and then uh, I just sprayed. You know, my brother-in-law used it over the winter and took it on some snow riding okay. um, this winter. And so um, it was just dirty and filthy from that. Remember, so, remember when I wanted a mountain bike mm -hmm. for like a little while there? You still want one. Yeah. I still want you one. You talked about it. But you got the best deal on that Salsa Timberjack. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. ever. We need to find you a used one. Yeah, maybe maybe this year will be the the year of mountain biking for me. Look at that, right? Great yeah. in my neighborhood. Yeah, just hit some crazy trails. Do some urban mountain biking. Are you, are you on telling the me that paved road? Much yep. like your you can cars, jump off some. You can jump off some of the curbs, or maybe ride up some of those small berms no, and I just back down. Don't want any. Dirt accumulating okay. on anything on your mountain on the, on the bike. bike. I like to keep it pure. Well, Clean. I'm going to touch everything up with touch it paint. Just it like how it. you yeah. always don't have to do anything. Find a way out of it when we yeah, ask if you want right. to go off roading or something. Yeah, dang. Because you got a ram that. But yeah, Grand. Has all I did was spray Green Star on it, KO2s. let it soak for a little bit, hit it with the pressure washer, pressure washed it down, and then I blew everything off with air, and then I. Uh, Wiped it down with Shamrock Shine. That was mm -hmm. it. Like, literally, it's all I did. Um, I usually use Trilube for the chain and uh, the cassettes. Um, I didn't didn't feel like I needed it. It wasn't that bad. So yeah. okay. Everything, uh, I, I replaced the whole drivetrain last year or the year before. Um, so it's all still very clean, and the bike drive doesn't. Chain is just it's just a it's just a drivetrain chain. It's a chain and two cranks, mm -hmm. a, a crank a and a, and and, a and cassette just, uh, just and a derailleur. No. It's just a chain and it's two about, spro sprockets. A couple things that mm, I had to it. replace. So anyway, that's it. Uh, David says, Anthony, that was just your body prepping itself for TR SEMA. I think it probably really was. I think it was trying <laughs> to say, hey, game time. Yeah. Get ready. Let's get this going. Oh, uh, Grant says, Dane will be collecting everyone's sweat towels oh. for TR SEMA and will be selling them piece by piece like an NFT oh. for ludicrous amounts of money on eBay. Oh. So it's funny. Those sweat towels do exist. Yeah, People get do. nervous out there, yep. so we throw them a sports towel. Yep. Uh, they use it, and they go, what do I do with this? And we say, there's throw a trash can away. right there. No, and Dane says, they'll take that for you. <laughs> throw it away. Dino <laughs> says, uh, Grant, I would give big bucks for a towel mixed of Clothes and Davis Enterprises sweat. Oh, no. <laughs> God. Uh, and then uh, Long Island, have you guys ever messed around with boat detailing? Thinking of pulling a Stark Yacht Care looks pretty good. Uh, pulling on Stark Yacht Care. Mm. No, um, so... Uh, Makes sense in Long Island. We though. have the G-Technic Marine line. That's yeah. the most of our boat detailing line. Uh, PNS does have Babe's Boat Care, yeah. and that's a great line with a lot of great products on it. Um, but as terms of boat detailing, I've done boat detailing. It's not your first choice. Oh, it's not, not so fun. <laughs> not as fun. That's all I'll say. So that's all. Uh, Tony. There we go. Hey, circa 2014, Anthony, what shoulder exercises would help <laughs> with the, uh, wax on wax off muscles doing a huge coating job last week. I blew my shoulder out and oh. need to strengthen it. Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> That's all. That was a lot of bill of you bang the table. Well, I feel bad. I know the pain. I know the thing. pain. That he has. Yeah. yeah. I understand the pain that he has. Yeah. I will tell you, short of the number of cortisone shots that I get in my shoulders mm. and the needling that I get done on my shoulders, the exercises that they give me, they're not that, they're not huge. Okay. Not helpful. They're, yeah. they're helpful. I would just defer to Anthony and just say, Tony, since you're young still, 
just start doing some d- basic shoulder work stuff. Sure. So I can't do that anymore because my shoulders are so shot. Yeah. I have to do very low impact stuff. So what you're saying? I have a Anthony. I have a friggin' door with a rubber band. Yeah. And I literally do this. So what you're saying? Well, you don't take like actual take, bands, take, like the take, stretch take bands, a trip down and to do Mexico. The, all get, I your, can do. get yourself some cortisone shots, right? Oh, Small boy. dose, <laughs> microdose cortisone into your shoulder for the next, you know, hundred years, and you'll be you'll be I fine. Should be fine. Fifty, sixty years. I actually you probably only live another thirty at that rate. But but anyway, uh, oh. as far as actual exercises go on shoulder stuff, <clears throat> I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I had like multiple shoulder injuries when I was lifting weights. Um, <laughs> yep, you could wrong see, person there. You could see uh, right based on. The see that peak right there and all of that kind of rounding out in the back. I had a lot of issues with the front of my shoulder there, a ton of issues um, from just improper. You know, it, it may have been just because it was years of you know tinkering around, and maybe I had yeah. bad uh, form or whatever it may be. But I ended up having a lot of uh, shoulder issues, and so it got worse the heavier I lifted. So I had to start going lighter and just start focusing on like high repetitions at lower weight. But there was guys I knew, dude, I'd go into the gym and they would be shoulder pressing 225, right? 225 on a shoulder press is insane. Like that's absolutely insane. Yeah. I was doing, you know, 160, right? And I was like, dang, this is a lot of weight, right? But these guys are just two plates on each side sitting straight up, just going straight up to the top with 225. And... They were just built different than me. I could never do that. And I and I every time I tried to up my weight, dude, it was just like I'd hear a pop or something would happen. I'd say I'm done doing that for yeah. months, six months. I wouldn't do that exercise. And then it got so bad. Then I eventually got. That's when I eventually got my first cortisone shot. And I go, this is the most amazing thing Isn't that, beautiful? that I've, I've ever experienced in my entire life. And he goes, hey, you know, you only just, get so many of these yeah, in hey, your lifetime. Just so you know, just just <laughs> chill out on that for right now. And then <laughs> this I don't is know. I, you know. Obviously, yeah, Tony, I would I would work on just getting if you can talk to a physical therapist. Tell them the motions that you're working through. Um, honestly, it was probably the best, one of the best things I did. Um, after some of my procedures, that's what I did. I just go in and do those, but you don't, what if you just warmed up your body before jumping into like that massive amount of wiping off motion or something like that or stretches? Yeah, no, stretches, stretching would be a great one. Stretching would be, but again, talk to a physical therapist to explain, like, just to help you with that. Cause they might go, once you show them the kind of movements that you need to do, like they can isolate those muscle groups and tell you, oh, hey, maybe you do this. And you like might go. Resistance band stuff or something. Well, a lot of it's resistance band. But they might go, this is the stretch you do. And you go, what? Oh, I can do that. I can yeah. easily do that. And they're like, yeah, this should help out. And it might be the best thing for you. Um, the other thing is just like I know it's hard being a one-man band. But it's one of those things where doing a huge coding job last week. And doing that over work, uh, yeah. it it can really take its toll on you. So um, look at the future of that because it is gonna it's gonna it's just gonna get progressively worse. It will never get better. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Uh, but but Tony, that. if you're not already taking, dude, if you're not already taking fish oils, that start too. taking fish oils now, man. Um, omega this, joint, omega that. Joint joint health is huge, right? When it comes to detailing. Fish oils are going to be one of the biggest, probably one of the best ones you could take for general joint health, unless you're eating like a can of sardines a day, which I doubt you are. Um, but get yourself some good. Uh, Costco has decent fish oil. You can also order some from uh, Nordic Naturals, which is a Norwegian fish. One of Anthony's yes. favorites. Uh, fish oil company. It really, really are my well, favorite. What about krill oil? That stuff's good too. It's I, I'd put yeah, it underneath it's, the same realm of like yeah, fish oil. You're still in the same but realm. I mean, yeah, that's gonna be huge for joint health. And I found that my joints were significantly more mobile and just healthier and better when I started supplementing that. Just make sure you take your fish oils, take it with a with food, not on an empty stomach. It burns otherwise. Um, and yeah, that's the best advice I can give you yeah, there. Yeah. Alex says someone call putting dressing on a sidewall dangerous. I call it looking for a friend. Is your friend deaf? <laughs> <laughs> Martin says, yeah, no product on a motorcycle tire. It's change adherence. Uh, 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 don't forget, it's just two wheels. It could be slippy. And then Miller, thanks, guys. Appreciate the live streams. Can't wait for TRCMA mm-hmm. uh, with Miller. And then in focus, hello, all. 
good day to wash the car in the garage since it's pouring out today. I know. It's raining here, here, too. I was uh, at lunch, and it was just dumping. Same, Crazy. Same. Uh, Keith Jackson saying, hey, TRC crew, happy Friday Eve. Can't wait to catch the live today, but see you all in the future. Yes. Back to TRCMA. That's it. Very nice. Uh, Martin says the Moto loop kit was very awesome. Okay. Nice. And then David Cervantes says, also, I saw a nice little bar trick done by our favorite Brit. Was Jack the bartender filling in for Dane <laughs> on the Absolute commercial? That'd be great. Un- unfortunately not, but I think the guy we had yeah, is very that's talented. Josh in his Petro own way. handles Josh all our his international uh, business stuff. Yep. Yep. Jamie says hello and good evening, TRC stream team. Hey, hey. what's up, buddy? Fish and s- and uh, and some soap. Making sure oh, I got a good the time right, page right there. Here. Hold on. Boom. And Rune, Rune, what's happening, my man? Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. No detailing questions today for me. Looking forward to TRCMA. Mm-hmm. Happy Friday. Happy Thank you, Friday, brother. indeed. And then, Graham, clocks go forward this coming weekend. Everything mm-hmm. will be back to normal next week. There you go, Phew. Graham. <laughs> yep, we're just uh, a couple weeks ahead of you yeah, yeah. on it. Anthony, Paul Allen. Paul Allen says, hey, guys. Smiley face. <laughs> Fortnite did a test on chain cleaning and greasing. In conclusion, the iPhone... Is I'm reading that right? I, I, iPod. The iPod cleaner Ipony. is the safest <laughs> way in gear oil... The best lubrication, Motul destroyed some of my X rings. So I am. It oh, says Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, I not am, Fortnite. Because you're thinking of a freaking dude, game. I was like, what <laughs> am I reading right you're like, now? Did they do oh, an expansion? Did a great Fortnite, test. which is another one of my favorite YouTube channels. I love Fortnite. Holy crap! Why did I read that as Fortnite for there's, some reason? There's motorcycles in there it's now. It's been it's been a week. Uh, okay, so the iPhone cleaner is the best way. Uh, is the best and safest way. And Gear Oil, the best lubrication. Um, so that's weird that Motul destroyed some of your X rings because um, I've been using I, I use Dupont chain wax. It's their spray on chain wax, yellow can. I haven't had any issues with my rings or anything like that on uh, three different motorcycles that I've been using it on and um, over however many years. So who knows? Uh, some are more aggressive than others. Some say they're safe on 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 X ring O ring chains, and sometimes they're not. And um, I don't know. Find what works best and go for it. But just don't use WD-40. Yeah. A lot oh, of people no. think WD-40 is the answer for everything. It's not. It's not. They certainly tried, though. <laughs> Sapper and a Shelby. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Did I miss the oral health care section of today's show? You, you did. did. Sapper, yep. sorry. Got There's the, always next time, though. Got them clean teeth. He is all clean today. All right. David Cervantes. Awesome. I think we pre-diluted our previous dressing four to one for exterior. So shine all woodwork. Amazing. There you go. Thanks boys. Nice. Martin says for dry on the liquidator, what's your best recommendation? Dry or just let it dry on a hook. It uh, dries. It's pretty dry when it comes out of the wash. Air fluff in a dryer is okay. Try not to introduce heat. That's the main rule. Yeah. It really depends on your own yeah. preference, Martin. I, I yeah, I, I just... hang dry my drying towels. I don't run them through the dryer because <clears throat> of the fact that, um, it's our clothes dryer. Right. And so I feel like the amounts of dryer sheets stuff have, on the barrel. have coated the inside of that barrel. That's fair. Yeah. And so I noticed that when I dry my towels, they just take a little longer yeah. to create that capillary action. So I just hang dry my drying towels. And pro tip, if you hang dry your towels, give them a nice little snap, a little shake afterwards, kind of re-fluff them up afterwards, and you should be good. But a lot of people just... Skip that step and go, ah, it seems a little matted down now. But, yeah, just give him a good snap. All right. We got Alex Dewar here. Speaking of long series, I find the three episodes it took for Dane to refinish some Z3 (laughs) wheels was the perfect length. (laughs) Hey, I didn't ask for it to go that way. (laughs) Graham says, tune in next week for the latest installment of Jack Reacher Does Nebraska. (laughs) Then uh, Sapper says, wait, I think I phrased that wrong. And then Randy Ricochet <laughs> saying, cheers, y'all. Happy Thursday. Uh, this is the way. This is the way. And then uh, <laughs> Jamie says, can't wait for Trisha's oh, Trivium <laughs> Trivia Night at the TRC My After Party hosted by Tony's Wangs and Bangs. <laughs> Wangs and Bangs. That's a new one, man. Oh, wow. But here's the deal. I mean, if anybody's interested, I'll track down Trisha. All we need to do is just kind of cruise around neighborhoods with open areas of land 
and look for a uh, you know early two thousands uh, or just look for a third gen or it was a fourth gen <coughs> ram I think I think it said it was a fourth gen a lady smoking fourth cigarettes fourth gen just, yeah, silver minute. ram that's kind of beat up with ladies smoking cigarettes and rocking out dude I'm talking yep. literally just so getting funny. after it just trying to so get away funny. from her mom yep <laughs> so. Uh, Jamie, the cleaner, saying going to need a live stream on that one. And then uh, Carly Gates. Jo- oh, sorry. I was bouncing around. You're right. <laughs> Carly Gates saying, while we're on pop culture, tell Anthony he was dead wrong about Nope. Ooh, That's not true. I don't remember she felt what he that, said about it. She felt that the uh, creature true. was perfect. The creature was not perfect. The she creature, enjoyed it. The creature was crap. I thought that was the scariest movie I've seen in a long time. So I, I don't, don't know think about the scariest, so- but I love the vibe. No, I love the, the I love the – it was I, not – it was – so suspenseful. I mm-hmm. loved the scenes of that. So I love the slow burn of everything. The scenes was, of the house are were, super there cool. There were parts of that movie that I absolutely loved. I was okay. that I was absolutely obsessed with. The fries scene. Loved it. Loved everything that incorporated fries. Fries. that. Oh, that yeah. fries. took me back. Right. Yeah. Electronics, Something right? fierce. There's things about that movie where I go, man, I love everything that they're doing here. And then there's other parts where I go, what? Why? <laughs> Why do they do that? That doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense. That that also doesn't doesn't is doesn't clean up nicely, yeah. right? I want to clean up nicer. It's the than only that. thing, the only thing I had and pure. The sound design the was only thing, amazing. The only thing I, that that threw me off, and, yeah. and this is the one thing that got in my head. Yeah, dude on the go on the electric motorcycle that rode all the way out yeah. there to their farm and was like, "Good, really long way out here." From TMZ or whatever, whatever, whoever yeah. he was from. That was the only thing that was like. Uh, but I understood they needed the motorcycle for a but certain the, sequence. The mirror helmet was very useful. Well, the mirror helmet, nobody would be wearing that. Not on that kind of bike. But in a movie, anything is possible. Yeah, Dana. <laughs> but was that was the only thing that, like, convenient plot get, got get, me. Get Out was a better movie. Oh, yeah, it well, was. It, I thought Nope was perfect. I loved yeah, everything. I, I, I enjoyed out. Nope. I wouldn't call it perfect, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, and did, I know did, it's a very polarizing Did you like it more than us? Uh, you know what? I never saw us. What? I, I didn't saw see Get us. Out. I, I love Get Out. You guys are not true, but fans I never watched. Then. I'm not a horror movie fan, so it's I not usually a horror avoid movie. stuff. Oh, us, you look pretty scary. No, it's not that scary, Dane. Yeah, I might have watched. You guys us. also haven't watched <laughs> Barbarian, and you guys are wrong. We haven't watched Barbarian. All right, so, at that, Barbarian. so on that note here, uh, <laughs> what, we are. What actually, a way to go into our actually coming up on the second half. Watch Barbarian, which means. That we need to jump to a quick break here. But right after we get back, we're gonna be answering more questions and going on more rants right here at the Rag Company QA. So we'll see you in a minute. Be right back. off-road.
was amazing. Dean, oh. I didn't know you could do any of that stuff. Neither <laughs> did I. Wow. <laughs> well, oh. now that you're an actual bartender, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe whip us up oh, some uh, extra cocktails. Oh yeah. Dean, Dean, do it. I mean, it's my first day, but let me see what I can whip up. Nice. <laughs> Oh. I can't believe it. What? Jeez, Dave, what? Oh my god! Pretty amazing. Looking for feedback. Let me know what you think. Oh my god. This stuff smells amazing. Good, good, all right. Well, Levi, Dane, cheers, man. Cheers. Nice. Bottom cheers. Up. Thanks, Dane. Oh my god. God, why, why are you spinning my drink up? I worked hard on it. What is in there? Is this, is that polymer? My mouth is encapsulating. Why would you even know what polymers taste like? It tastes like chemicals. Did you feed oh. us chemicals? What did you put in this? Oh, oh. I made you a nice drink. Oh, what are you supposed oh. to be nice? Oh, guys, that's my car. What? You hit my car. God, guys, if you didn't want the drinks, you could have just given them back to me or something. Ah, <sighs> dang. Are you seeing that shine over there? Hmm? On the car. Oh my god. Dane, what'd you put in that stuff? What, in your drinks? Yeah. yeah. Some water and some absolute. Absolute vodka? No. PNS double black absolute rinseless water. Wait a minute. Are you trying to poison us? Dane! Uh, did you just make us drink rinseless no, water? No, no, no definitely us? didn't do that. Uh, Absolute rinseless wash is not for oral or suppository consumption. It looks pretty good. It does, however, leave a hell of a clean and smooth surface on your vehicle. Wow. PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Mix responsibly. Is that, is that something? I mean, it's yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying thing? it. I'm kind of so. liking this. Yeah. So just don't drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's make sure we don't. Don't drink it for the future. But do Dang. put it on cars. Yeah, it's good. It's for cars. Put it on a car. Okay. Not yeah. inside yet. Ha, <laughs>Welcome back here at Q&A Thursday at the Rag Company. Mm. Once again, we have Levi, Dane, and Anthony here to answer your detailing questions, of which today there <laughs> seem to be very, insane. very <laughs> few of them. So we are going through questions. and here trying to get to these questions. But Let's there are pump not many this second questions. hour, which is always the fun half. Yeah. Let's pump it up a little bit. <laughs> I'll see what we can do. Jams. Let's get this party started. More fun stuff. Yeah. Grant yeah. Hotchery saying, Dane walking around Boise Comic Con, <laughs> telling everyone he's the biggest Jar Jar Binks fan <laughs> is like being a spare man at a wedding. Oh, oh, Alex no. Dewar saying, if I picked up in a if I'm picked up in a Miata, I'll be sure to pick up a 65 inch TV <laughs> to toss in the back for the ultimate driving experience. <laughs> I mean, technically, don't forget a, p a paper shredder too. You need one yes. of those. A top driving down driving Miata. experience means essentially your cargo capacity is on. Limited. Well, it's only limited by your suspension. Not always. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jesse Rayo saying, hey, gang. Been some time since I could catch up on a live stream. Busy with school and work. Hope everyone is doing great. Thank you, you Jesse. Too. We appreciate it. Good <clears throat> to see you, man. School yeah. is important, Jesse. Yep. Stick yes. with it. Anthony? Absolutely. Why does we that exist? We got Dane's Kitchen. That's 
actually my kitchen. What's cooking, guys? <laughs> which is actually a photo that's of concerning. Dane's that's kitchen, <laughs> which makes this ten times more hilarious. <laughs> this is actual Dane, kitchen. That is your actual kitchen yeah, right there. Yeah, it is. We got beautiful How'd they view get of the valley. Photo? Somebody's been surfing real estate <laughs> sites. <laughs> looking that, for old lists. Does that make you uncomfortable? Oh, so, just a little. <laughs> only, the only thing that would make that better if it was Dane's bedroom. Yeah. The oh, okay, that would yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. I'd be real concerned if Dane's it was a bedroom. Picture What's happening, with, like, guys? Dane's current... leaky bathroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh boy. Bananicus. <laughs> Where can we find some of Tony's wing sauce? Mm. I have some empty IK sprayers if I can get the gallon size. That's a lot. Ooh, that's so, a nice hey. way to apply that sauce. That is. Tony's wing sauce is constantly changing. Okay. Uh, but I think I finally perfected <clears throat> my, uh, my sriracha pineapple Have you been writing down this sauce? recipe? Uh, not necessarily, Ooh. but I've been messing with a couple different Keeping buffalo it all varieties. Here. Nice. Okay. But here's the thing. I'll be if I'm honest with you. You know, before I got sick, mm-hmm. you know what the last meal I had was? Some wings. Hmm. was wings. So my sickness didn't contribute to the wings. It was something entirely different. But I might have to take a wing break okay. because the repercussions. You, you oh. s- yeah, you still got some PTSD from oh, Are you connecting those dots? I'm connecting those d- not because I want to. Oh, okay. It's just, it just my, that's where my brain's going to that right yeah. now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So okay. moving on. You guys don't need no more than that. <laughs> Joey <laughs> said, <laughs> I noticed if you click add to cart, Without going into the details page of the mystery bag, it didn't ask you which number you wanted. It just oh. added number one to your cart. Yep. I bet that happened to some people then. Oh. That probably... I would like Crap. to know what the sales numbers on mm-hmm. each pack were that would make and sense. whether or not that happened. That makes happened. way more sense. Because number one was disproportionate so to everything else. You know else, Joey finds it. things wrong mm-hmm. with, yes. with electronic things. Mm-hmm. And, He's very good at it. And, yeah. He's good and at that. programs, right? right. Mm-hmm. Why didn't we have him beta test this? We could have. We will right. do that in the future, possibly. <sighs> Joey, we'll let you While know next time. While he's the bouncer, he can be on a laptop. Randy and, Ricochet yeah. saying, will there be any holes buttered during TRCMA? Ooh, absolutely. The Anthony's already got a big tub of butter ready, oh. to do, ready to butter some holes. We're going to butter quite a few holes and rolls during yep. the week of TRCMA. Tyler Graff saying, happy Friday Eve, TRC crew. My wife is due with our first baby on Monday. Congratulations. Taking two weeks off after the arrival. Timing worked perfectly to be home to watch <laughs> TRCMA. Win-win. Tyler... That's how you do it. That's if anybody yeah. else could take a page out of Tyler's book. Wow, this is what it. you need to do. Plan the birth. Of your Just child have a baby in the yeah. next. Second best week. idea: take the week off of work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if you have to work, open up our page and have yeah. it just open so you can watch it while you're at work. Just in the browser yeah. window. We're on you your phone. You do that. How great couldn't, would that be? Couldn't be yeah. more right, Tyler. Sapper and a Sh- Shelby saying, uh, new baby and new detailing bonanza. Win, yes. win, but indeed. for real though, Tyler, congratulations. Yes. It, it'll change your life. It's amazing. Um, best thing ever. But you will have a significant amount of downtime. I highly recommend buying a Nintendo Switch Ooh. for <laughs> that easy, that easy pick up and go gaming Well, experience. sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Belinsky saying uh, your mid thirties are just second puberty. Ah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's when you learn all kinds. Well, of Well, no, your body starts changing. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely yeah. starts changing. You get but it's an in- aches and pains. No, it's it, are... it is an internal change, not like the first round of puberty is more of an external change. Yeah, second round of puberty is an internal. Your your flora and fauna inside you changes. Sure. You, For me, it's smells, mostly been noticing the new The smells that pains. come out of you are going to be oh. much more different, Dane, oh. than you've experienced well, in your life. Well, uh, that's that's something to say to that. Look forward what to. that what's, I don't know what that even means. Really. I think you can read between Sometimes the lines. You, you know, maybe a burp smells a little different. Maybe something else so, smells a little different. All I'm hearing so is anyway, that Joe Muniz is here here saying, saying, "Hey, I fella, I just received the wolf pack Maybe. in my mystery box. What's your recommendation on uses for these bad? Whatever boys? you want to use them for, Joe. Quick detailing, final wipe down, like rinseless polish removal, rinseless wash. I mean, the list goes on. You. There's there's a multitude of uses for the uh, wolf pack, but wash them first before I, you do anything. Yeah, yes. recommend that. <clears throat> uh, Stefan says, "What's?" Dane's go-to method for cleaning an electric bike. Ooh, Dane, what do you Dane. got? Oh. Well, Certified I mean, detailer, Dane Ennin. Now that you're an electric bike owner. Yes, as an e-bike owner, uh, my first step is to turn to whatever quick detailer I happen to have okay. sitting mm-hmm. on the so shelf. What do you have sitting on your shelf? Have sitting on your shelf. I have as some Minxes. I have as some Prince Eagle of the Rag Company. 
And I have G-Technic's Quick Detailer. Mm. I also have, uh, mm-hmm. you know, O&R, of course. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, no, just something simple. I mean, yes, I have bead maker, but if I'm cleaning, I prefer to use something that's more of a cleaning power, not a sealant. So, yeah, no, I like I, I'd stick with the Quick Detailer because it just gets you know, dusty. It certified gets Detailer, dusty. Dane Hennen. Yeah. Got so. his certification through the IDA. That's the way it is. Took the exam. Knows his stuff. <sighs> you wouldn't know it, but mm, who knows? Jesse Rayo says, I finally purchased my wheels and tires for my truck. I'm torn between G-Technic C5 wheel coating Ooh. or Diamond Pro wheel coating. Dude, you can do either one. You can't go wrong. They're going to really. be fine and do everything. So yeah. just pull the trigger on one. Glossy Bear Detail and Anthony got me inspired to peek into window cleaning world. Hmm. Can't wait to get an Unger squeegee bucket combo <laughs> and knock out my house windows. Ooh. Absolutely, dude. Enjoy Mixing the process, up. right? Unger's great. Just jump into it. And uh, I guess advice for you would be... Start with one window first, right? See how it goes. Have a couple towels on you at hand. Maybe ground there. floor windows. Yeah. yeah you know, if yeah, you've got a second yeah. story, don't start with the top ones. Don't if it's start, your first yeah, time. Don't start with the top. No. Um, but yeah, enjoy, man. Window cleaning it can be very satisfying. And it's something that you can do twice, three times a year. And you'll notice it, right? It's just it's just like cleaning a car. You're looking back, dang, I did a good job on those windows. Mm-hmm. Some satisfaction. Knowing nothing that. about window washing, where mm-hmm. would Unger fit on the hierarchy of like brands? Because your reaction told me it's somewhere in the middle, maybe upper yeah. middle, something like upper that. Upper middle. Okay. But they also have affordable entry level stuff as well, though. So okay. You, you, I mean, there's a lot of different options, uh, but I mean, they seem to kind of cover most bases there. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Sapper and a Shelby. Just remember to pop them back in at Glossy Bear Detailing. There you go. Kimberly saying, greetings, guys. Dealing with back issues, I let my car sit dirty. If neglect results in water water spotting besides swearing, what do I do? Well, uh, Kimberly, you can pick up some Mm -hmm. G-Technic water spot remover. You can pick up a bottle of that. You can pick up some Koch Kemi FSE. As clean as your car is and as protected as it is, that might be the only thing you need. Yeah. A little FSC to so. wipe it down with. So. Don't need uh, to get crazy. Because it's got a lime scale remover in it. Um, and you should be good, but then the next step would be the G-Technic water spot remover. And that's an easy wash the car kind of thing. Um, and then she says, by the way, my TRC goods got delivered today. Mm. Very nice. And then Isaac Gutierrez says therapy with resistance bands. Yeah. Yep. And that's the way to do it bands. with the shoulders, yep. man. Uh, elongated muskrat. <laughs> uh, what do you recommend to revive a two-year-old CSL exo coating? Lower panels seem clogged with salt and stuff. Does W9 water spot remover help with that, remove that salt buildup? Yes, it does. It does do that. A chemical decontamination would work really well. Okay. Um, Dane's tire oh guy. My God. <laughs> no, oh my God! No. I was <laughs> on oh, 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 no. <laughs> hey Dane, thank you for your recent purchase. We look forward to serving you again in the next few weeks. <laughs> oh look at him God. already dressed in a suit, uh, lighting most cigars important with hundred dollar bills. Most importantly, he's lighting money on fire. Yeah. Dane, so, yeah. you're putting that guy's kids <laughs> through college, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Oh, keep him in business. Jeff C. says, <laughs> uh, Tony, I injured my rotator cuff earlier this winter. I looked up some shoulder exercises on YouTube, and they were amazingly helpful. Yeah, that, that really is the normal, answer. Yeah. But it, it, it is literally just a lot of resistance band yeah. um, and stretching and motion. So, Tony, <laughs> me, what exercises can I do? You guys, fish oil and drugs, baby. There you go, That's man. That's how you do it, I, man. That's where I like we're how you at. spell exorcises, like yeah, we're, we're getting rid of demons. Yep. Yeah. Kevin saying, happy fr- uh, <laughs> afternoon, everyone. I got my big boy shirt in today and the other St. Patrick's Day goodies. Yeah. Great sticker, right? Big Isn't one. It nice awesome? one. Sapper and Shelby says, can't make this up. My new towels I ordered literally just arrived. Perfect. Talk about timing, nice, right? man. Nice. Jojo then, Craw Daddy. Sup fellers, daughter dropped her blush into the carpet and I tried to clean it and tried to clean it up mm. herself. How would you go about getting that stain out? Thanks. Mm. Ooh, this is a hard one. Um so first things first, I would try to get a vacuum and vacuum as much product out of the carpet before I before go you wet before it. I go in there wet. Um you want to get as much of that dust out. <laughs> yeah. Think of it kind of like soot. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. It's very dense. It's like kind of ashy it's very dense and so you need to you need to suck as much of that out so that's where i get on you know if you need to grab your shop vac i mean your normal home vacuum could get it but then you are going to have to go in deeper so then dry brush 
break it up, vacuum, dry brush, vacuum, till you get as much of it out as you can to where you realize there's not anything left. Then go in with a liquid of some sort, and then it's a lot of blotting. Yeah. Don't try to <laughs> yeah. don't don't try to push it around. Right. Just blot to wick it and try to remove it. Flip the towel, change the towel so you can see. Because what you don't want to be doing is getting that colorant back up into the towel and then you put it right back down in another spot yeah. and you yeah. have now put colorant on other parts of the carpet. As soon mm-hmm. as it's so wet, that's continually smearing. flip that towel, continually try to find a new side um, for your blotting. That way you can you can blot cleanly, um, and you are gonna have to go through a few towels until that blot stain isn't staining that color anymore. Yeah. Um, rewet the area and continue to blot. And then once you're once you feel like you've got all the color out, give it a little brush, give it a little vacuum, should be good to go. Yeah. All right, there's Gloss Bear. That was a dope TRC my teaser clip. How right. you liked it, so. <laughs> Anthony? Uh, uh, Abend, TRC. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 and yeah. there we go, force induction drive. I was going to ask about using Rupa's Uno Advance with a rotary, but I found my answer on the Rag Company FAQ channel. Good. Hey, that's what there it's there for. That's Perfect. It. We did create that channel, and it, yeah. it, people do watch it. Yeah, yeah. that's good. It, it works. <laughs> Kevin or, or uh, Joey Kevin. saying, I did a headlight resto last weekend and used the 3M clear coat wipes for the first time to finish them. Seemed to do a good job and leveled itself nicely with two coats. That's awesome, man. <laughs> the key is just going to see how long it lasts and how soon it yellows. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't, we go like two years and you're like, man, it's still holding up. Awesome. Yep. Sweet. Daytona Wallace says, <laughs> It's hour two. Oh, Someone no. get Dane wound up and get a rant going. Daytona, I'm you, having, can't, you can't throw it out there. Like I'm that. having a happen. chill time right now. Nobody's brought up any topics that are going to get me all revved up. I got a relaxing the, haircut schedule right after we leave oh, here today. I'm nice. looking forward to the wet beard trim to the whole thing. Are you yes. getting the haircut? Yeah, I'm cleaning all this Who's mess up. Who's so. doing it? Uh, I don't know who's doing it. I don't recall. I think it's Matt. But, uh, Matt? So yeah. you're going to Redlands Barber? I am. You are nice. I'm going yeah. there tomorrow. Nice. Sean. Sean. He's going to be taking care of me. I might have Sean, actually. You might I have Sean. Have, I will, maybe I, Sean. I hope you do because it gives me things to talk about. Mm. Yeah. You're like because passing, you know, info along. So I go to him and he'll be like, yeah, I just saw Dane yesterday. Say, no yep. way. Wow. Work with Dane. He goes, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I know everything yeah. about you guys now. <laughs> about you guys. So, so you're going to, you're, are you getting a wet shave? Yes. You Gonna are. Do the full, uh, yeah, dog. the full, wet like, shave, nice. wet hot towel You're on get, the face, but, do the whole wrap and everything. What's, what's yeah. going to happen with your beard? I'm just getting trimmed up, cleaned up. Right now it's just kind of a poof. I yeah. want to get it more uh, streamlined. Mm. I want it to make look like I have a jawline that I don't have. So he's going to do a little bit of sculpting then. Yeah, we're going to sculpt that thing. Yeah. yeah. So what's the best barber experience you've ever had, Levi? Me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my barber retired. Uh, but surely you've gone to a new place since then. Yeah. We've but like, are you times. are you as someone that likes to get kind of like pampered? Oh no, I like going to a barber. <laughs> I love getting a hot shave. Yeah. Only in Since the last I've had a year. beard, I haven't done that in a while. I yeah. hadn't um, discovered it until just this last year when I started but doing that. When I used to go, uh, uh, my old barber Dave, he was great. He retired. He's an antiquer now. Yeah. Mm. Um, Deals but in I miss antiquities. I miss I miss going to him. I miss getting getting the whole shebang done. Um, now I've gone over to Beardsmith. They've done great work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do miss the, like, I'm going to wrap your face up in a hot towel, yeah. let you chill out for a bit. That's really nice. It's relaxing. Um, it's yeah. nice. So, but that's, uh, that's one thing that I do enjoy and yeah. I, and I do miss it. So I might have to schedule some time with the Beardsmith and have that, all of that magic yeah. done. Well, I was always interested in the Beardsmith, but, but every time I looked, their schedule was out like two months. Yeah. So they're went, a very um, busy, busy yeah, group of folks. They're, they're so, just yeah. fine without me. But, so <laughs> how about you, Anthony? I, don't, I I mean like I've gone I go to Redlands right where Dane goes and I think it's a great experience what they do over there I think it. they they do they do a good job I don't really know what I'm looking for because I love the idea of a hot towel being mm-hmm. on your head right mm-hmm. but I also get weirdly paranoid when that happens right well, straight razor and a hot towel and... well no they wrap the towel around my head right and, I, and they're like all right just kind of chill just relax a little bit and I go I can't see what's going on mm-hmm. in here I can't really hear a whole lot of what's happening yeah. either right. And you're I like go, me, like keep your head on a swivel. You're, you're hypervigilance. Well, I keep my head on a swivel because I go, I don't know who's walking in that front door right now, right? Who are they and what do they want? Right. Oh, brother. And so I kind of start thinking to myself, I'm not as prepared for action as I would like to be. Mm. 
So I try to relax, but I usually just end up overthinking things. And then they pull me out of that thing, and I go, uh, well, you know, I was Sometimes nice. you just need to embrace that you can't control everything. A, I think if it was in a dark room with Benya playing in the background, something to really Like a door closed, me. you'd feel a little more Yeah. Safe. Let yourself there's go. Like Release into in, the There's void. people saying, hey, yo, yo, what's, what's going on? And mm. they're talking, they're chit-chatting, and they go, did you watch the game yesterday? And I'm kind of like, I don't know who that is. But he's yelling. I don't like that. Well, I'm yeah. getting this <laughs> the get fifteen dollar extra <laughs> added. So here's hot an towel. idea. We have a number of towels right across the street. Yeah. Hmm. Dump them in some dunk them in some water. We've got mm-hmm. the Yeti buckets. Okay. Sure. Right? Take them, wring them out. Those have chemicals in them. It doesn't matter. Just take them over. Extra. Throw them in our microwave here. Yeah. Heat some towels up. Yep. Yeah. Mid afternoon break. <laughs> Magic wheel cleaner is inside the liquid though. <laughs> It'll actually uh, it's probably, it'll probably start really messing uh, with our might be, it might be something enjoyable that we oh, all get no. to do instead of, you know, like we have Treat Friday yeah. here at the Rag hot, Company. Hot, hot Towel Thursday. Hot Towel Thursday. <clears throat> As we come off the show. It's right after the Q&A. Jimmy's got them all ready to rock and roll. Oh, boy. Here's your towel. Here's your towel. He's got the tongs <laughs> that we <laughs> used for Dane, for oh, Dane Eats. Oh, no. And he's just handing them out. And we're like. It's not the worst idea we've like, ever these had. These aren't too bad. <laughs> just kind of just chill out. For the sure. TRC Day Spa. We could start that <laughs> up, right? <laughs> I don't okay. think anybody would come a second the, time. They the would just show up once bad. and go, the, that was a great mistake. idea. The sandalwood scent from Active Foam, mm-hmm. like that's like the scent that, that would we be use. nice. Yeah. So we're like, what's the pH of this, what we're putting seven, on Seven, seven, we're okay. No, it's, it's not, though. It's like 10, <laughs> nine. You're like, this one's a two. Can we just do GSF? <laughs> soak some towels in yeah. GSF, or maybe some absolute towels. Yeah. Sapper got says, that coconut. <laughs> chemicals, fish oil, and drugs. That's what we All stand right. by. Thank you. <laughs> Stefan. Levi. Gents, any idea which of the G-Technic coatings can I install on Steck Dynoflex mm. windscreen PPF? It doesn't repel water that well, and wipers do stutter. Hmm. G-Technic hasn't responded in seven days so far. Thanks. Uh, Stefan, I don't have an idea as to what could go over the Dynoflex windscreen PPF. I don't know what that – I've never used that product, so I can't – can't help you there. The uh, material of it will determine yeah, what's safe to put on that, the substrate. I, I think you're going to have to wait for G-Technic. They might, they might say Halo. Um, in, or if that Dynoflex windscreen has actually got some glass in it, they might actually recommend one of their glass coatings. Mm. So that's where, where we're at. You could try a small part with any of the glass coatings that we carry, like View or, um, or even uh, Diamond, Diamond Pro Glass. glass. Um, you could try a just a small section and see. The worry I have is that that film has a <clears throat> has some sort of reactant on top of it, and that's it could why. potentially obscure your view, and that would be bad. Yes. So I would wait to hear from G Technic. Uh, Alex says, for anyone wanting to make a massage chair parody account, I have some photos of a oh massage chair. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> Sapper and a Shelby making the laughing faces. Uh, oh, Joey boy. says, good thing Dave's hot chicken doesn't sell wings. No. Yeah, and uh, Alex says Anthony has PTWD, post traumatic wing disorder. Oh, yes, no. and Dane's tire guy popping in laughing about that. Ron <laughs> says he got his mystery box yesterday. Very nice. Nice. Kirby says uh, G Technic PPF coating is Halo and it works great, but try it. However, doubtful it will last due to wiper friction. Yeah, that's kind of the main thing I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, would you normally use Halo on an optical surface like that? No, that would be I probably kind wouldn't. Of, uh, I, so I wouldn't that's why I'm saying that. wait to hear from G Technic, Stefan. Graham, money, no object. Pick your ultimate detailing oh. product. I know what that is already. You dry ready for ice. this? Well, probably a dry <laughs> ice machine or a Hawk, a Landa Hawk Ooh. pressure washer for my driveway. We can get you Is that one. like the crazy one? It's 3500 bucks. Okay. We can find you one. Diesel if you powered. Want. We'll get you one that you can do a Hot rebuild water. on, right? But instead of doing diesel power, we're going to do Honda power. Mm. We're going to throw a K20 in that thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That could work. What do you think about that? As long the as it second, can heat the water. That's the all that matters. The second that VTEC cracks on that, right, that thing's got enough power. You're just Why is there, there variable like, valve it, timing just, on a pressure you're washer? over there revving it up, and I was on pressure washer. <laughs> Anthony, it cracked that VTEC. Yeah. We need a little more need a little more pressure here. You start cutting oh. through the concrete on yeah. that thing is what you yeah. do. That would be a good time. <laughs> Joey Valinsky oh. says... Um, are you guys offering notes to excuse us from work? We could. Yes, we, can. we could. We could. We'll talk. We can't and see promise if we can do they'll that. be accepted by your workplace. Yeah. Though. Yes. We could make something Am to I print out one? for folks that would say that. That I'm could be kind of fun. One. Guys, you got to start throwing questions at us. We still got Harry half an hour Housewife to go here. says switch defo a lifesaver as a new parent. 
Oh, okay. So the switch is definitely a lifesaver. Okay. And then Pat questions are the munchkins and leprechauns gone out of anthony's attic no one could be really um sure. no. well, they're in grant's family pat yeah yeah that's kind of rude it, actually have a, have a bit of respect yeah. i mean <laughs> just because they're from new zealand doesn't automatically <laughs> mean that they're small mythical degrade creatures. them to that i mean but uh <laughs> that, been watching too much thing. lord of the rings uh but they are still up there um i still think that they're alive and like i was mentioning earlier they have they have a they have Tons of entertainment, right? They have a drum set. They got part of a racing simulator up there. They have part. plenty of <laughs> part, <laughs> part, <Yeah>. part, <laughs> part of a racing you, simulator. You get the part where you can sit. <laughs> you just don't get the screen or the console. <laughs> Sorry. Not they get the unusable parts, and um, they also get some Christmas decor, right? So the thing is, for them up there, it's like Christmas every year, and it's also freshly insulated mm-hmm. to really keep the heat up there during the hot summer months. Yeah, it'll be nice. Oh, it'll yeah. be great. Uh, Kevin says, I plan on having my earbuds on me during TRCMA, switching to day shift <laughs> next week. Nice. Nice. Ed saying, my wife and daughter are off to a spring break trip during TRCMA, so I'll have the week of interrupted viewing fun. That's going to be great. I picture that Ed's going to be downstairs with the pirate gang, I think chilling I out, so. enjoying himself, <laughs> having a couple drinks, got his big, huge, uh, his steins. Yeah. You know, just enjoying TRC. Well, I hope that the pirates are also watching along. I think so. I think they will be. Right? I think that that would make things the most fun. We might Um, have to get some pics from Ed. Keeps it whimsical, keeps it fun. It is great. Tyler says he is pack. Oh, is. Packing the switch in the hospital bag off limits. I would no, say no, no, I did. They put that TV in that room for a reason. I literally did, dude. I was playing Diablo two on my <laughs> switch, right, connected to St. Luke's Wi Fi because nice. I was trying to do some online gaming, and I did. Oh, right, man. the thing it was just it was it was weird and uncomfortable. I How was, was in, the connection? Not bad. It was good enough for it was good enough for that game. Right? Okay, but it was just so funny because I'm in the corner of this room. As, like, my mother-in-law was on the baby duty for, like, whatever was the first, you know, the first couple hours. Once my wife was sleeping, she's like, okay, you can get some rest, too. And I go, ah, I'm such an adrenaline rush. I think I'm just going to kind of game. And she's like, okay, that sounds good. I'm in the corner where the connection was the best on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm like, this is awesome, right? <laughs> I'll never forget those first moments he would of being do a that. father. I right? totally <laughs> believe this story. This is a thousand percent true. No doubt about it. This is absolutely true. <laughs> He would. Uh, I'm sorry. That was great. That was a perfect moment <laughs> that there. That was good. Uh, Grant says, what detail items and towels would you take in a detail bag to club, cruise, track day session, go? Honestly, a lot of O&R. Mm-hmm. I'd take a small thing of O&R. I'd take a couple or... gallons of, well, or take a couple gallons of water, of distilled water, throw okay. some O&R in it. Yeah. yeah. Make sure they're sealed up tight. Keep them in the car with a bucket. Now I've got some liquid ready to rock and roll. I don't need to get a hose for anybody. And I can pretty much clean the whole car. Yeah. And I'm all right. Yeah. I don't need to put anything else. Anybody else agree? Yeah, that's I mean, that pretty much does it. All right. Dane's bedroom with a view. <laughs> Glad to see you <laughs> rested, Dane. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no way. That's terrifying. With a view. So, also, it's a little disturbing because, well, actually, no, that's not true because that's all the stage stuff. That's not what it actually looks yeah, like. Well, Dane, no, that solo. is what it looks like. Though. I don't that have is... a dresser there. Okay, you don't, okay what is there then? <laughs> well, I'm not going to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why would you tell us? <laughs> it's just a coffee table, but. <laughs> okay. It's because well, it's a view out over the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but that is your view, is it not? Yes, is that, that your, is. Is that, that your is same fan? The view. Now that people are going to be able to send a, you know, a stealth assassin. <laughs> To uh, break through my roof and into the... <laughs> so is that your fan that you still have there? Yeah, I hate that I feel fan. like that fan's kind of aged. It's ancient. I want to get yeah. rid of them. <laughs> There's yeah. two of them. The and one so further in on the picture and the one back What's funny is here. right on the other side of that dresser is the stairs down to yeah. his living room area. That's it's where just Dane still yeah. practices his bully kicks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, so, first thing first you wake thing up in the, in the morning, morning, you got to be ready goes, for anything. If don't a bully mess with Dane Hen and he kicks. Or oh, say no. an assassin confronts you <laughs> right. at the top of your stairs. Oh, you made the mistake of meeting me at the top of the stairs. Bro. Literally, oh. those words come out of nowhere. Well, Liz has to warn Dane. She says, I'm Dane, I'm going out for coffee, but I'm coming back up. <laughs> and he goes, all right, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> Proximity <laughs> alarm. Turn him down for a sec. All right, we're cool. <laughs> uh, Cervantes saying, so question as to the early rag company. 
What happened to the junk man? Oh. If it's a sore subject, I understand. But bringing, but being back to TR SEMA, would it be appropriate to bring him up? No, no not at all. Fair. So uh, junk man uh, still calls, uh, <coughs> talks to Jeff quite often. Uh, he'll still call customer service, just say hi. At least a few folks. times a year, I've heard. Um, yeah. Last we heard, he got married and... Uh, Start chopping wood. He's been chopping yeah. wood and just hanging out, enjoying himself, working and... Working on his cars and just living life. But so. if you watch his channel, you'll notice like it definitely slowed down there yeah. for a while mm-hmm. after. So it was kind of up to him. Junkman made great videos. I watched almost every single. That's one of where his you videos. learned a lot of your I, stuff. I learned, I learned a lot of. I learned a lot of kind of the random things, right? The mm. things where I'm kind of like, this is weird and interesting, but only I a person like who this. already knows. knows. And um, but yeah, I learned a lot of stuff from him. A lot of little tricks and things like that. And what's funny is I, I always wanted to meet him. I never had a chance to until uh, it was the Rag Company grand opening. And you didn't lo- work this, here yet. At this location right here, and I didn't work here yet. And I had just gotten laid off from my job, showed up to the grand opening, saw everybody, ate some cookies upstairs. Junk man was there. And I was like, what's up, dude? Nice to meet you. Shook his hand. We sat there and talked for a little while. And um, that was pretty much that, dude. And that was the last time I ever saw him. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, it was actually around that time he stopped making detailing videos. Yeah, it was yeah. literally about it that. Was time. Really that would right be about twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. He stopped making detailing videos and started making videos of him chopping wood. And yeah. um, I think I think it was not just wood chopping. There was also some other random. Was he it was gaming? working on a jeep? He worked. He there was a, gaming videos. There was a RC helicopter with like a POV it wasn't camera RC on it. Helicopter. Some other I stuff. Saw that. There was the wood yeah, he's chopping. Just doing some doing stuff. It was just kind of like random stuff. He's like, he's like just, into tech and everything. So yeah, that's yeah. I think he was just kind of doing what he likes to do. And uh, but I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to see him make a comeback. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like he'd a still have year plenty ago, of plenty of stuff to share. Mm-hmm. Like a year ago, he did that video on a Porsche Cayenne. Yeah, that's true. That was like the most recent mm-hmm. thing I can think that's of that true. I've seen. Yeah. But I haven't checked recently. So if there's some newer stuff, feel free to uh, let us know about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It Grand. was just weird because he was his videos were very crude. They are. But he still managed to show everything that you'd want to see. Yeah, no. Oh, which, yeah. Was, which is just kind of crazy yeah. because there's people out there that still can't even do that today. I mean, heck, we even have struggled with certain videos and trying to show you a specific thing. But somehow in his pitch black garage... With his single one overhead light bulb. <laughs> one light source. He was somehow able to show you on a defect that was getting uh-huh, removed 100%. or a weird thing. Crazy. He's very good at that. He's, Grand he's a talented F, guy. Levi. Yazert thoughts on using a pressure washer. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Yazert thoughts on using a pressure washer on a specialized e-bike, a.k.a. Big Buck. So um, hmm. I just make sure everything's sealed up. Yeah. Honestly, uh, just make sure that there's no areas that, uh, you know, there's a, on those specialized bikes, they have uh, a place for the battery. Um, Your charge port should have a cover on there's, it. Like a yeah, everything should have dirt seals and covers. Um, so you should be okay. Just try not to get, like, s- soak those areas bad. The other thing you do is go old school detailing, get some plastic bags, grab some, grab some tape, wrap the tape around that area, wash the bike that you want to wash, take the tape off and just hand wash and hand clean that space. Um, That's something you can do. You can also message specialized or any of those bike manufacturers and go, how do, how, how do I clean this? You know, give them a call on their customer service line and go, I need to clean this bike. Do you recommend anything? And if they say, yeah, you're good to go. You can handle with pressure washer. You're fine. Specialized specifically, I would say um, because it's a mount, it's an actual mountain bike brand and it's not, an e-bike brand, it's an actual mountain bike brand. They built those bikes to be cleaned because they expect people to use them in the way they're dirty. intended. So um, I think you'd probably be okay on that, especially some of the major manufacturers of actual mountain bikes. Um, so, point. yeah. Uh, Tom Chingo, <clears throat> Chiningo, saying, quick question, any recommendations on cleaning discolored vinyl glass on a rag top? Yeah. Um, so this is a hard one. Basically, you're going to have to, um, clean the, clean that plastic, uh, that vinyl. The other thing you can do is they, there is some protectants that you can put on it that then do kind of bring back some of the clarity, but short of that, you can also kind of lightly buff that vinyl with a machine 
and get that out. I don't really recommend it if you haven't done this before, but short of that, there isn't much more you can do to remove that discoloration you know what I wonder? on that vinyl. You know what I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. I've never, I've never, I've attempted this, obviously. I've just, it just came to my mind. So sometimes on, on YouTube, I get lost. Yeah. And I watch some weird videos. Yeah, it's very real. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the rabbit hole is. Okay. And I watch these videos where I see shoes getting restored. Mm-hmm. I also watch videos <laughs> where I see like electronics getting restored, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to plastic and vinyl and rubber, yeah. There is this certain type of concoction that you make. I don't know what the heck it is, they right? put it in it's, that tray and they dip it you in. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, it's like this, I've it's watched like this, those videos. There's the, there's, well, that's like a peroxide treatment that they do, but what this is, it's almost like a paste. It reminds me of like a – so what they do is they paint this stuff on mm-hmm. and then they wrap it in uh, – um, uh, what's it called? Z- uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, saran wrap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they hit like, UV exposure and they give it UV exposure. What it does is it has like this effect where the UV, right, hitting Cleans this it. chemical inside, uh, you know, activates. wrapped within the sand wrap, uh, saran wrap, activates it and dissolves yellow oxidation. And it makes it look new again. And it makes it look brand new again. Like yeah. It chemically removes the yellowness, right? Right. <clears throat> I don't know what it what it's called. I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can about. also do a search on YouTube. But I see, wonder, but... would that work? Could. Right, yeah. it could because it is. Yeah. It is just a polyvinyl. It's just a, it's just a plastic. It's, it's just like a, yeah. old plastic. gray plastic on a console is typically. Do you understand? I've seen it done though. But yes, it, I've seen it done to a Game Boy or an NES. Shoes. Or a, look up shoe restoration shoes. and look hmm. where they take a sole, a sole that is be, that it was once maybe kind of like opaque or, or like um, uh, not see through but semi transparent that has oxidized and become sure. yellow. They do that stuff on the soles of a shoe mm. and then wrap it that. in saran wrap and then put it in like this UV light and then it turns it back to normal. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. I don't know why it came to me, right? But yeah. it's like a paste. But I may have just come up with a million dollar idea. Possibly. It's hmm. it's it's a new Who's product for Quick guys, run with top it. restoration. <laughs> right. Who knows? For rear Impressive. vinyl plastic windows if you have that. <laughs> Darren asking, Dane, going to get, a, get himself a reverse mohawk haircut. <laughs> Just a racing stripe right down the middle and great. hair on both sides. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh boy, that would be terrible. As Maybe. long as it's so feathered. We've done oh, that. Yeah. We've done the Back to the Future theme this year, right? <clears throat> yeah. What would you guys say about doing Ace, Ace Ventura oh, next year? Oh man, <laughs> just like just straight cockatoo up here, and then it like goes. Dane's got to do the rhino the scene yeah. though from oh, the, my the Pet Detective Two. <laughs> just. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like Danny DeVito coming out of the couch. Oh, my God, it's it's the same thing. This is a great question, and I think we should do this one. Okay. David Cervantes, Dane, your hair hair looks fresh already. (laughs) Could we see everyone go pure like Levi did? Pure. I don't think – I just – I don't don't think you can handle it. I don't think I'm going to look great. No, I used to – I think I'll look uh, okay because I'll just wear a hat. Well – Yeah, I mean, I literally look the same with my hat on. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing changed. I know. Except for this. It's just, I have I have yep. hat hair right now. This is true hat hair. I kind of look very Italian right now with what's going on. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I still have that. plenty of hair. And so, I don't know, man. I just... I don't have any comb overs or anything yet. So, even if I shave my hairline, still very much right there. Dane, Dane comes from a hairy family. I mean, let's just be real here. He, He's Dane's, got some Dane's thick, not, delicious hair. His, Dane's dad has nowhere near balding. Oh, oh no, nowhere. Literally. Near. It turned gray, but it's all there. Yeah. It, it's, it's all there. If but they say, look at your mom's dad. That's usually the thing, right? Mm-hmm. And oh, my mom's yeah. dad, full head of hair right till the day he was gone. So, yeah, he was he was okay. good. Okay. So you'll, you'll yeah. be pretty stout then on the hair, on the hair thing. Yeah. yeah. I've good. already got some spots. I'm losing my hair all the way back up to about here on either side. Mm, it's not that bad. So I've got a nice, a nice uh, peak there. Little v. And then I've got a hole up here on the top. And then I've got a little thinner action right up in here. You just so, gonna, uh, so just get the rest of it I'm with very, like a little I'm razor. I'm very curious. Not that we probably should dive too down, deep down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Are you? Would you ever be? If you truly lost your hair, would you be interested in hair transplant surgery? No, no. And I've that's seen a the solid horrible answer. things yeah, that can no. happen. Okay. Dane, what about you? You lost your hair? No, I've had I've my head shaved before a few different times, and I'm fine with it. Like yeah. I'm actually fine with it. Yeah. So I so would. So what's weird? Shave. I'm all. You I, have, would? I no. I'm oh. right with you guys. I. I have a friend that just went through some hair transplant surgery for just a widow's peak. Like a post-op he's, thing on the hair looks And he's terrifying. my age. He's my age. Why he, would he spend that money? 
I, uh, I'm not sure. Do you know how many Honda Civics you could buy or S10 <laughs> Chevy pickups? I'm sure yeah. quite a few. But I had a friend that just got his widow's peak all filled in, right? I don't know how much he spent, but it looked really painful. Um, they take hair from your backside. I don't know, but, but he was very worried about his hair. You know, he just didn't hmm. lose his hair. Is he and in like an know. industry that's some, super judgy? I, I don't think so. But for, he's very hmm. care, he very much cares about the way he physically looks. I just don't care that much. Okay, anymore. so he's a little vain. Yeah. Like I feel like if I, I feel like I could still look like that with a bald head, and I still think it'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Throw a hat on. I mean, throw a do goatee. Not cool think guy. that yeah. like Jason Statham is cool. He's been bald forever. I love Jason fine. Statham. I love right? Jason Statham. The Rock. Yeah. yeah. Bald. People love go. that guy, right? Mm-hmm. So there you go. Joey Blinsky. Nothing wrong with it. Says man. My, oh, mine. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to finish. <laughs> Talk. Mine. <laughs> Does the hot towel on the face while washing and conditioning <clears throat> your hair? Total relaxation. Oh, Having yes. someone else wash your hair. Mm-hmm. Joey, my mom is a hairdresser. I grew up that's with my mom as a yeah, hairdresser. Yeah, you just had it in the house. So, like, that was just normal for me, man. And so I don't really get relaxation because my mom, I, all, I, all I think about when somebody else is washing my hair is, so <clears throat> have you talked to your dad lately? <laughs> no, I haven't talked to my dad. Oh, oh, okay. No. Well, son, <laughs> I was going to say, this weekend, <laughs> you're so going to have is, to get some chores done, yeah. and I'm just like, This uh, is incredibly educational. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it makes a big difference. It makes a really big difference based on nature, nurture, that whole thing. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 Could you imagine that? Yeah. What if, or, or, or My mom is like, yeah. just prodding me for questions yeah. about how school I was. I can't even imagine What that. kind the, of chores I need to get The best done. ones are the ones who, like, give you a little small talk at first, and then they're like, all right, I know you just want to vibe now, so it's cool. I'm just going to let you be. And then you're like, great. <laughs> do they, and then you do just they know that for you? Uh, sometimes, like, I'll converse, and then I'll be like, yeah, that's cool. And then I'll just let it trail off, and then I'll just go quiet. I feel like I have to talk. Yeah. No, like, well, I, feel like I, I feel like they're doing this You thing. are a talker, though. Well, so. because <laughs> if I don't have the conversation, then it's too awkward, Dave. Right. And then See, I it doesn't get awkward for me. There's just, like, an inherent understanding, like, we're just going to vibe now. It's cool. Well, it'd be like my mom doing my hair and her just to stop talking, and I'd be like, she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> This is like the people yeah, who watch movies exactly and there needs to be is. constant stimulation right, and let's action move on to the, the next time. one. Seth Seth Price. Otherwise, it's not a good Seth movie. Seth Price. Levi, go for it. <laughs> go to Cadillac. Quote, Levi, go to Cadillac Matt's Barbershop in Garden City. Does the full package. Hot towel, straight razor shave, well worth the money, and a cool environment. Thank you, local Boise nice. and Seth Price. Appreciate so it. is that a place right there? Yeah, that's a real shop. Cadillac nice. Matt's? Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's ever met Cadillac Levi. I wonder if he'd give you a discount, probably. Chop yeah, maybe. Shop. <laughs> See. Uh, well, then I could also go to so and so's chop shop out in Meridian. There you go. And yeah. get uh, get my hair done too. Caleb's chop shop. Uh, well. Sabrina, uh, David Savani, something reminded me of this for a reason. Anyone else go to Disney with a little notebook full of Disney characters to get their signatures? Yes. Seems like a fever <laughs> dream, honestly. I, I didn't. I was 14 when I went to Disneyland. Yes, so I, didn't I know exactly what you're talking I about. I didn't. But yeah, the autograph thing. <laughs> so, But I don't think it was my experience. Mm. I think mm. it was my brother or my sister who and had you were the tagging book, along. And I was just there mm. for the... For the party, excited to help them get the okay. autographs, but I don't think that it was my book. That well, like a scavenger sense. hunt type thing would be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that would be fun. That would be a good time. Could still. see that. Sapper and Shelby, I haven't done a hot shave face and head since the military. Gosh, I miss those hot shaves. Sometimes, yeah, it's, it's very just nice. nice. Very nice. Joey Belinsky, I feel like I'm the only one who holds a conversation in the entire barbershop, and everyone's up in my business listening to my <laughs> stories. Well, Joey, that's how I feel. That's okay. Like, I'll be sitting there talking, because I'm like Anthony. I talk the whole time I'm getting my hair cut, and everybody goes, They all, all the other hair folks start yeah. turning around listening <coughs> to the story. It's like you're holding And that's court. fine. You guys are storytellers. I, I just find that, like, I'm happy doing uh, the lone wolf be quiet thing. Yeah. Like, it's okay, and it's not awkward. It's not awkward for anybody. It's just pleasant. Well, no, but I think that you have the, the the demeanor to like you could probably shut it off and just be kind of vibing. Yeah, no, I'll I'll just flip the switch depending on the environment I'm in. No, but, I would but, rather but be Dave, quiet. And I'll just... sit there, and what happens is I'll get asked one question, and I will say something, and then somebody else it will hear the another, difference in yeah. the distance, and they say, "Did you say that?" Right, right. Every time I go there, I say the rag company. Right, hey, yeah, we love the rag company. Right, yeah. And the guy goes, hey. What's this towel over here I got? What is it? I'm like, I don't know what it is. You <laughs> I know, can't I see. There's see a towel right on my there. face. I got something in my eyes. <laughs> and uh, But it always trails into something different, okay. right? Last time I was there, mm-hmm. we were talking about The Last of Us, right? Mm. I literally said, I was talking about the first or two episodes, second 
second episode, whatever Can't it was. Spoiler for people who and then watched. three people on the other side. You guys talking oh, about yeah. The Last of Us? And I go, here we go. Yep. Let's <laughs> get the party started. started for the rest yeah. of the time. To that point, Tony Massell here saying, hey, in all seriousness, questions have been slow lately, and I think that's a testament to what a fantastic job they know you've all done at yep. educating the detailing community. You guys are awesome. Tony, I Thanks, love Tony. seeing the optimistic take. Thank you. My only suggestion to everybody who's here right now is invite your friends who don't know about detailing yet, who want to learn and maybe have some questions, and we'll keep this train going that mm -hmm. way. How about that? There you go. Jeff says, Anthony, as long as you drive the Miata to the barber and park right in front <clears> of the door, people might think twice about walking in and starting stuff with you. That's, that's <laughs> true. Well, they're going to assume that you're there to do someone else's hair. assume I'm armed. Well, guys, they're, they're assuming guys, you're there to I know, do the But with that dressing. Miata's history and the barbershop oh, and talking about bald heads, there's <laughs> so much wrong thing. that can happen with this combination not that I good. can't even talk about. Not yeah. good. So go. Tony says, that said, <laughs> going, to, I'm going to start sharing the show more to help Thank bring in some you. fresh blood. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Appreciate Tony. you. That's what we really want is to keep spreading the gospel here, so... All right. David, David says, Anthony, that rinseless you were trying, is there a possibility of it being released at TR SEMA? <clears throat> also, how's it doing? It's, do oh, it's doing. It's doing. Tune in to TR SEMA. As always. <laughs> yeah. Never know. Alex hey. says, a gas pressure washer with a tech Techron Octane booster to help crack that VTEC with that 40 degree tip. Mm. That's right. It's usually how we like to do yeah. it around here. Leprechaun tip. Levi's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you say leprechaun? <laughs> oh, God. Why did that not sound... Uh, that Someone sounded like you're say. doing a horrible approximation of a Jamaican what? accent. That's what was it good. the day before? He's it's like, like I got, he goes, like, me got one day left. <laughs> yeah, I got one day left. Me feel me powers fade. And <laughs> sometimes it's your, your, your head just don't speak and then it's better. Uh, oh, oh, Lord. This person <laughs> has to so, create uh, this oh, many no. Gmails no. to <laughs> leprechaun it's Levi. Not okay. With Nacho Man saying, sup, uh, uh, sup hey, guys, and Jamie the Cleaner, someone's account switch game is strong. Seriously, somebody's definitely awesome. running all these accounts. RSX Freak 79 I recently scored a box of Resist All Ooh. at an estate sale for two bucks. <laughs> I tried to use their car shampoo, and the suds disappeared in my bucket after five minutes. Oh. I just threw the whole box away. I told you, man. Stuff's garbage. What a great way. Pure garbage. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, Ed Iverson, the pirates always love watching TR SEMA. Uh, I'll make sure I post <coughs> some pics on Facebook next week, uh, mm. the first week of April. And uh, little details, specialized lighting like scan grip lights are amazing. But do you feel they are required for proper paint correction? What are the top two lights you would recommend? Mm. Little detailers, honestly, or details, realistically, what you need to do is, is watch light. Whether you use a... You use the light on the ceiling, whether you go junk band style and you're using that one bulb, whether you're using scan grip, whether you've got a light and setup like our studio. Um, the key is knowing what you're looking for. Too many yeah. detailers don't understand what light is and don't take advantage of it. And yeah. so that's where the like the buff bright flamethrower came into. And the reason it works so well is because so many detailers still don't know how to properly use light to see Reference what they're it. correcting and referencing. Light's so. only as effective as your ability to see areas that aren't lit, too. So it's yeah. the contrast you're looking for in a lot of cases. And we will and say we'll just hammer eye -match, stuff with light, not realize Realistically, kind of the only light. light you need is that scan grip eye match headband. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people, some body shop guys, they only see uh, color and texture. Yeah. They don't see surface defects. While detailers will see surface defects, but may not see color, may not may not see color or uh, or um, texture. Texture, it's weird, but yeah, the the eye, the, the headlamps are the best yeah. place in to the start. right hands. A single focus light source. C J Burns said, "Whatever you do in the birthday room follows you for the rest of your life. Be careful, guys." It's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> birthing room. Yeah, birthing wow, room. the birthday room. So, <laughs> I so mean, that's why I told Anthony. Thing. I told Anthony. Ish. The birthing room is going to have a bathroom in it. Whatever you do, don't use it. Wait, is you the, can wait, the, you can wait, go is, number is one in it. Called, just don't go. Called, yeah, right? the, that room the room that you're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you Detailing can go number show. one in it. Don't go number two. Yeah, because it's you're gonna. There's no fan. You're gonna walk out, and everybody's gonna be standing there. Doctors, oh. nurses, everybody. Oh, boy. What does he do? Mm. He used it. I did. And then the nurse walked in, and she goes, she goes, she goes, hey, how's everything going inside here? Uh, and I'm just like, dang it. And that wall is paper thin. <laughs> that wall is paper thin. And I'm like, dang it, dude. I'm oh, like, of no. course this is the timing that had to happen. So I had to find my own special place. I did, too. That's yeah. why I kept telling you, go down the, go down <coughs> Ed, the hall. Edmund Iverson says, I sent Junkman a message about a year ago. He still hates rinseless washing. 
fun guy to learn from. <laughs> yeah, he, he never and was. And then so Anthony forced Junkman off the YouTube. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, no, he just disappeared around that time. That was his um, choice, though. We got six minutes left. Yep, uh, we got a whole page to go through Tom still. Chingo, happy Thursday, gents. Appreciate all you do. Thank you. Thank Joey you. saying, I'm pretty sure the Junkman video convinced me to buy a Porter Cable 7424, and I was terrified to use it. Glad I did. Good. David Savani says, I'd love to see the Junkman back on the rag company for a throwback, maybe next year at TRCMA. Just want to see him again on the channel. You never know. Hey, hey. You never Ryan know. says, I can hear him now. Hello, boys <laughs> and girls, says Ed Iverson. <laughs> and LHF, so Levi... While you went through all the history of Red Truck, you failed to tell us the most important t- part. What <laughs> tires are you running right now? <laughs> Jeff, you're so uh, some very inexpensive Mastercrafts. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yes. You know, they look good. They perform great. Yeah, about 400 bucks for all four. Uh, Kirby, which product have you found that works to improve the look of the WeatherTech mats? Mm. I keep trying to find something that's not so slick except for the WeatherTech brand topper. Mm. Uh, uh, we're playing with Goof. Yeah, um, we've been playing with Goof from I Coach Kemi. Kill, still continue playing with Goof. I've had great luck on my RSX mats. I've had good Didn't, luck on my weather techs. Yeah, so Goof will be coming soon. Okay. Uh, Alex, and I think they're going to talk about it at TRC. Yeah, they are. Alex Dura says, uh, Project Farms uh, YouTube Project channel Farm. has filled my brain with tons of useless information. But I love, love it. it. Nice. Mike Rea is saying, Anthony is talking about whitening the soles on Jordan's lol. That's exactly what I'm talking Angela about. Angela Soul. There you go. Okay. Is that what it is? Yeah. And then get them get icy them icy souls, souls back. back. Ooh, sh- I see. That that car. That How do Acura I know this nice. much about Jordans? Yeah. Right. Cool. I don't, I don't you don't even wear them. You're not even a shoe hound. I'm not even a shoe hound. I don't even know well, what's going on. And then uh, Joey souls. says, "Rejuvenator Soul Revive." But no, but this is something Love that. But you know, I'm talking about. It needs uh-huh. UV exposure. I don't know mm-hmm. if this is the same product or if it's like a homemade concoction. Might I don't make know. it all white again. <clears throat> and then Mike saying, love reju- rejuvenator. <laughs> LHF, when uh, my airline started looking like the hood of a 69 Camaro SS <laughs> with the hood stripes, I gave up and began shaving it with a razor. There you nice. go. That's kind of where I'm at now, I think. You just got to commit. Yep. And then David, I don't know if I could picture Anthony Bald. <laughs> I don't know if I can either, right? And then uh, Mike, bald guys uh, unite. <laughs> don't hold on to it. Let it go. I have more confidence since I shaved my head versus trying to cover it up knowing it was fading away. Lol. Bald by 29. And yeah, that's that was and that was Matt. That yeah. was Matt Ward. He was bald by 29. But it is it's so much better to commit. Than he just to starts have shaving his head and he's just that's what he's been doing for people, years. People can tell when you're like yeah. trying hard to like not let it go and it's just sad. Yeah. So just, wear sunscreen. just make it yeah. go. RSX, my favorite shoe cleaner is KCX PO 4 to 1 in a small foamy bottle. It leaves my shoes looking new. Spray a little bit of FU in the shoes to freshen them up. Ooh, nice. nice. Uh, David, I, you know something I miss as much as the Express Cafe shenanigans? Anthony's dad stories. He's got plenty of them. I, I, oh, wait, like, wait, my dad stories? No, I think you just your dad oh, stories is me being, being a dad, a dad right. stories. Yeah, not stories I mean, about your dad. I still have dad. plenty. I mean, like I and I'm still getting stories well, all the time. And you are giving them. You are talking about them on the Rag Company podcast. That's right. They mostly yeah. happen over there. Yeah, but I mean, I haven't really been going that in, the in depth. I was actually thinking about the other day. I haven't really been giving enough dad updates lately hmm. on new things. But like, hasn't been that, hasn't been all that crazy. Like, I feel like the first year or so was a lot of learning curves. Yeah. And after a while, it kind of starts to get more of a groove, and then the groove becomes a little bit easier, a little bit harder. And so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. You're, you're, um, you're Glenn. Right now. Glenn. Hey. Saying, hey guys, how you doing? Thanks, hey, Glenn. Bud. Good to see you popping in here, yeah. brother. Uh, Glenn is from Swag Rides. For those he of is. you wondering, check out swagrides.com. Cool place. Uh, David Svantes, let's just get personal with the questions. Let's get some real G. Davis style humor out oh, of it. Boy. There you go. <laughs> Darren St. Kraken Q&A, guys. My sorry, I've been quiet. Edi- editing away while listening to everyone who's watching. Smash that like button. These guys deserve oh, it. Thank you, thank Darren. You, Darren. Uh, Joey, I think I caught a peak of the color of that rinse was washed in a recent All Day Anthony video. Hmm. And then uh, Darren saying, also, if you... Uh, if you're at the last end of lost end for the rest of your day, tune in to Detail Chick Podcast just a few hours. You'll see me there tonight. There you hey, go. Nice, dear. Nice. Tune in with that. Good Helio, job. hit the like and subscribe. David saying, I tried to get my boss to try dual action or even change his compound. I told <laughs> him I see trails and swirls on everything he touches. He said customers don't have don't, haven't, complained. haven't complained in 30 years. Why change? Yeah. No, that's, that's the, the thing. Spirit. A lot of people don't they <laughs> they don't see it. And it's body shops are key. Mm-hmm. In teaching their customers, like, there you go. Just look, what do you think? And they don't notice it. Where detailers are like, see all these things wrong with your paint? We're going to fix all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got, like, little rainbows dancing all over your They don't notice that stuff. Hood. So 
<clears throat> Helio, what items would I need to take the uh, oxidation off of headlights or fog lights? Polish them. Polish them up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hans, I just saw Wolos launch a sneaker product line. Ooh, there you what go. Shoes? The heck? I have to check that out. Into shoes. Uh, David says, has anyone else worn a hole in their weather techs? Yes, I have. Really? Yep. And then oh. Stefan saying, why don't you guys sell Wolos anymore? Uh, Stefan, that is a whole other story that we don't have time for. We've gone over that yeah. in like past Glossy years Bear <laughs> saying, I learned how to polish from the junk man. YouTube videos, 100%. Alex saying, have a beautiful weekend, fam. David says, both your dad and you being a dad. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. And then, Levi, how are the new couches holding up? Uh, great. We were talking the other day. Carly and I said, we need to flip them so that the one sides that we both sit on don't break down. Fewer stabs. Yeah. So we can sit and keep them, like, breaking apart the, okay. the whole Okay. I way. thought you meant face the wall. And no, I thought, well, it's just the leather kind of... breaking down from sitting in one spot oh, okay. too many times. So, uh, And then David saying thanks for the Q&A, guys. When Joey said he thinks he saw the rinseless Anthony, it looked like he was going to faint. <laughs> and that's yeah. pretty great. I, 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 I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, yeah. Making this yeah video, it's so weird that he's putting Fellas. it on you, man. There you go. Let's take this home. <sighs> well, make sure you All go right. over and watch Darren tonight. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody enjoy yourselves. Yeah, guys. Seriously. It's been a lot of fun. So uh, TRC is coming up, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to get crazy. So, Dane, uh, further ado. Yeah. So, to Anthony's point, obviously, TRC is very close, and we've actually got each one of the day's live stream blocks. They're public now, so you can actually see them. You can click on the Notify Me button below each one, and that'll make sure that you actually get updates as you get closer and closer to the time of the show. Because we understand everybody out there, you're busy. Sometimes you forget about these things. It's nice to have a reminder just built in for you. You don't have to think about it. So please, if you're gonna do anything tonight after the show, do that. Otherwise, click like, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and we'll catch you next week. Have a good one, guys. See ya. See ya. See ya.